Bro, did Zoom update for you? It looks like the same old shit to Oh, me. dude, mine is, like, weird now. I fucking hate it. Oh, wait Really? a minute. Oh, you know what? It's because I had my screen, my screen shrunk. I'm so stupid. My There's my only, screen like... was kind of small too, actually. There we Mine go. was tiny, and I only had, like, two buttons at the bottom. But I'm, Oh, dude, okay. I'm so stupid. But uh, before I clicked record... You're telling me uh, the post office is coming after you? You have some Yeah, beef? dude, I think the U.S. government wants me dead. The, the, the basically, the, I, there's a post office that's closest to my house, and I'm just gonna stop going there because every time I go, it's the same old lady who works there, who and she is so mean to me, and I don't know why. And she always acts like I'm. I'm literally there every week dropping shit off. I'm like, I know you. I know you know who I am. Yeah. And I'm super nice. I'm just like. dropping off a ton of stuff usually right i'm bringing in like Does i might she have have to like stamp it and everything, or do you come in pre-stamped? yeah no well so here's what happened i have been sending out the prints Uh for what six months now huh. Yeah. and i always put three stamps on it that on the large envelope it's all it needs i put three stamps on it drop it in the dropbox goes out just fine haven't had any issues knock on wood now I, so i ran out of stamps halfway through i had like 20 That I needed to mail out, and I only could had enough stamps to put on like five. Mm -hmm. So I stamped five of them and went into the post office. And I brought her, I had the five that I already stamped, and I was like, hey, these are good to go. You know, these can just be dropped in the drop bin. And then these, the remaining ones, like 15 of them, I need, I just need to pay for these to get shipped out. And she takes the one that I already have put stamps on and weighs it, and she's like, You don't have enough on here. I'm like, I've been, I was like, You had no, no, three stamps I had on three it? stamps. And I'm like, I've, it's just, a, it's just this. Yeah. I don't want to show the, Is okay. it This literally, one's blank. is it this? It's this. Oh, that's why, bro. I used to use those. I would switch to these bad boys. I, I have just had issues in the past where people's shit gets Come like in bent. bent. That's why you buy a stack of hard paper and you Uh-huh. put it as like a backer. Okay, that's But probably dude, they, true. dude, don't let me interrupt the story, but they started fucking my shit up when I was using those. Dude, they, it is so annoying. And and so anyway, I, I've been dropping them off without her help. You know what I mean? Because I don't, I don't want to wait in line and I don't want to deal with this lady. She's there every day. Anyway, she takes the one and she's like, she starts charging me for the one that I've already put stamps on. She's like, you don't have enough on here. I'm starting to charge me. And I'm like, whoa, whoa, I've been doing it like this for like six months. Why? It's the same. I'm sending out the same thing always. And she's like, well, it's not enough. It's not going to work. And she char she's like charging me and putting another stamp on it. And the five that had the stamps on, I was literally just like, give me that. Like enough. No. <laughs> Charge me that I didn't put stamps on. And the ones that I already, I'll, I'll deal with these. I'll just handle these. Just you, you charge me for those. And so she took the rest of them and I had the ones that I put stamps on and I walked out and I just put them right in the fucking drop bin. Cause I was like, yes. Yeah. Yeah. I was You're like, like, fuck enough, that bitch. enough of this. Anyway, that, uh, that just happened. <clears throat> And I just got them returned to did sender they all in the come mail. back? They Oh, all came bro, back to me. dude. And I know it's because she She's saw fucking me with you, bro. and she was like, no, no, you're not allowed to do this. And just sent them right back to me. And I was like, I guarantee you, bro, when they start to get uppity, because this chick was, this old bitch was fucking doing that shit to me where she was like, oh, it needs way more. It needs more stamps. And I was like, I'll do it myself. Give them back. And she was like, well, no, anyone's going to tell you they need more. Just send them here. And it was like, no, fuck yourself. First of all, who are you? The arbiter of mail? I have to go through you, you fucking dumb bitch. Yeah. But, uh, dude, here, here's the secret. Let me let you in on a little secret, okay? Go ahead, go ahead. Uh, you're just sending the print. Yeah, sometimes I'll leave something else in there too, but What, like it's a sticker or something? yeah, 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 like Bro, a if note it's or a sticker. just the print, you can ship it media mail, and it's like 10 cents. So anytime that bitch is being a fruit ball again, just be like, yo, media mail. You, you, you're USPS, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, media mail is anything that is a CD or paper, and it's literally one-fourth the cost. It is insane how cheap it What? is to ship media mail. Yeah, you could ship a box of paper for like two bucks media mail. No Anyone listening, way. if you need to fuck USPS up, if they're being bitches, do fucking media mail. And they can't do shit because if they're like, are you sure? Like I was sending the trading cards out media mail, and they're like, are you sure these aren't Pokemon cards? And I was like, no, bitch. Media mail, because they can't legally can't open your shit Right, unless it yeah. it's like drugs. So, dude, Yeah. do media mail, but also do that 
that thing I told you, because like if you do these and put a hard paper in the back, uh -huh. I have had zero bending. And then you can also get away with, I think, two forever stamps and then one 20 cent stamp okay that yeah. is okay i'm gonna start doing that that's a, that sounds like a cheap but just bug. to fuck with that chick bro just to show her what's what you <laughs> Dude, need to go back there and media mail shit it, and it's like every time i go in there it's some other shenanigans there was a young girl that was working there like a couple weeks ago and i tried mailing out like some of these and she she like is put putting it in the system and she's like okay the, it, so each of these are going to be like 15 dollars to mail out and i was like what what why you don't crack and yeah, i was like I what, what are you talking about and and i was like can i just see what you punched on the computer she like turns the computer around and she's like look it's like this this is and i'm like whoa 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 go back she was clicking that i was mailing out a package that was more than a quarter inch thick or something like that i was Dude, like it's not it's an envelope they an always envelope. try to do that shit like, bro. The, doing? the one near me i've made it so they can't beat me but they always do this thing where like they hold it up like Mm, I must check to see the thickening. It's like, dude, do your job. Kill yourself. <laughs> go get someone else. Like, it's so annoying. Like, I, I can't well, imagine. When I worked at Chipotle and people were like, you didn't give me enough meat. I wasn't like, I don't become all uppity. Like, no, company. I know. You just give them more. Like, who gives who a gives shit? Who gives a like, shit? It's like, not coming USPS out of my paycheck. is like losing money. Like, actually, I think they were like, about to close down under Trump's presidency because yeah. they were like very low on money. So <laughs> was, maybe they are a stickler for a reason. But that was that was a weird time period when there was like all of a sudden whispers that like, did you know mail isn't going to exist anymore? Like, yeah, I was, I was like, like, what, what the why? fuck? Why? But, uh, well, dude, hey, speaking listen. Speaking of like shit not exist. Well, no, don't let me interrupt. Well, I just figured I wanted to surprise you. I got the card Bro. in the mail. Did, did I, your parents about... see it? I wanted to spook him. <laughs> yeah, did. My okay, dad, my, but he, he just, he knew. It was... But yeah, if you can't, can you read it? It says. I can. It's coming through. Your quality on your camera is unusually crisp today. Excellent. Yeah, it says, thank you for, what does it say? Thank you for your generous donation to Al-Qaeda, which I did donate. Yeah, that, pull that back up. I'm trying to remember what I wrote in Arabic. I'll read it for you. <laughs> oh, yeah. I didn't even think to ask. Al Kelb Kabir, big dog. Oh, that's great. Yeah, I love adding a little bit of uh, Arabic because then it's like I, I try to scare them. I'm, I'm Dude, honestly disappointed I have yet to receive a visit from the FBI because I have been writing <laughs> some fucked up shit. Like, usually they don't cross the line, but I did a few recently where I'm like, oh, I'm fucked. Like, uh, there was one I wrote in 2012, I got away with murdering a hooker in North Carolina. Or something, and I was like, <laughs> "That this has to like they have to send someone after me." You know That's what I mean? That's great. That's great. And they should. They. I'm surprised they haven't. Can I show what you sent me? Or is oh it yeah, too, rip uh... it out, baby. All right, let me see here. I don't even. Uh, I wasn't was sure if it was like top secret. You know what I mean? But I got I got a couple of drawings here. I got some doodles. Oh, there we go. The unsold the doodles. The two that I wasn't able to that sell. That you didn't sell. Well, I I don't know why, because this one especially <laughs> this one cracks me up. The robusty. Oh yeah, bro. Eva the, from uh the Wally, baby. Wall, the Wally drawing is so good. <laughs> and his eyes going, Auga. And then I I if you want, we can do a little unboxing because I did not open these yet. Oh, ba yo, open on, those uh, cards, brother. Open I got those this cards. and I see a sticker in there as well. The official cold cut sticker, bro. I still That's got right. like 20 left. These are fresh. they came out so fresh, bro. They look awesome, dude. Yeah, they really do. Here, all right, let me know. I, I put one. in a busty jiggy dog, right? Sticker. Yeah, I did okay. get a busty jiggy dog. Yeah, I'm trying to decide what to put it on. I was thinking my laptop, but I really want to get a new laptop. And it would honestly, this would up the value of my laptop as it currently. Oh yeah. Stands. Oh yeah. So okay, here I've got. All right, so we'll start with the stickers. I got the thick jiggy oh, dog. Baby. Oh I don't baby. Oh baby. Cover up too much. That looks great. I'm very excited to put that. I don't know where I'm going to put that one. And then this dude, the hollow cold cut sticker looks so. It, dude, I was honestly fresh. shocked by the quality. And, it looks uh, insane. The only tweaking I did on it is uh, you, you had a cigarette all white. So I just added the yellow filter. Nice. That was yeah, all. That was, that. that was, that was a good call. That was a good call. Yeah. Yeah. That looks really good. And then I got these cards. Oof. Oh my God. Did I give I you a set list ones. card or no? Uh, is that oh yeah i said the air mail set list yeah I yeah got this yeah here. okay what is this can you explain this part to me which one the set, the set list 
Oh, dude, that's kind of fresh. I've just been doing it recently with every new set, but I have an airmail set. Oh, yeah, you already have it up. But uh, mm -hmm. just because, like, people, if you're buying a pack, you don't always get every card. So mm -hmm. if you get a set list, you're kind of like, you kind of see what else there is just in case, like, oh, I want that one. Maybe I could trade for that one. Very cool. Um, Very cool. Yeah. Yeah, secret hollows. But here's the thing for anyone listening. Like, yeah, like you just said, there's secret hollows. There's secret cards. That's dope. That's freaking also, dope. Also, uh, I just got an email. Uh huh. So during our break, when I run outside to smoke a cigarette, there's actually a couple more official cold cut stickers that have just arrived in the mailbox, baby. Whoa, yeah, I know. Really? I'm hype. I'm hype. Yes. Oh, that's extremely hype. Oh, yeah. dude. I, I can't don't even wait. remember what they are. I think they were just album art and then. Uh... Oh, the Bussy Road one you did. I think I got one of that. Oh, what? That's yeah, so fresh. yeah, yeah. I'm excited. Dude, I didn't even know you were making that. That's so sick. Yeah, do you like how I take the hard work you've done and then I just, like, <laughs> make stickers and stuff out of it? Enjoy it while it lasts, baby, because uh, once we set up this Patreon... It's over. It's, it's over. over. All of it's mine. Yeah, we'll uh, see. What I, my hunch is we, we get the Patreon going, and it's going to be like we pull, like, $3. <laughs> we have to split That's that. great. I got so I got the Fem Yolo, saw that one on the on the card. Now Very that one, cool. uh, if you have card autism like me, you don't. But that one actually isn't part of the airmail set. That's actually an exclusive Patreon trading card. Really? Okay, that's high. You, you got to pay twenty bucks for that usually. Cool. So yeah. Oh, that's nice. And then I also got this is one I've heard a lot about, so I'm really excited that I got this one. Wow, it's really good quality too. The scrum. Which one is this? Oh, the scrum card, the scrum baby. Card. Did and I give like you a? Uh, Show me the back of it. Oh, you got an official one. Okay, usually I've been sending out... I have like 10 or 15 left of um, misprint ones. Oh, really? Yeah, but the misprints I sign and like point out where the misprint is usually. It's like a little little tasty treat, a little bonus. First edition. Oh, and Doodle, this is by Gollipon. Weren't we yes. talking about Gollipon? Gollipon was... He's a mod now, but he was the guy who took the place of the other mod that was wanting to work with Kurt, John got Bob. It, got yes, it, got it, drama, yeah. Juicy drama. Wow, they did a great job with this drawing. And Jiggy, He's unreal, course, dude. You know Jiggy, I always say, I don't know if Jiggy listens to this, but you know. Jiggy's the bomb, dog. They're, uh, they're the homie. Dude, I'm staring at this ball of hair. I don't, dude, I don't know if it's a sickness, but I love, I just like pluck all of my body hair out one by one. But uh, mm -hmm. I was doing it last night. I was watching Better Call Saul. This is, this is just a small amount, but mm -hmm. there's a small, I don't know if good you can God, see it. Man. There's a little should... hair right there. A little ball. It's probably not good. Uh, it makes me feel good. The pain, you know what I mean? It's like, ah, oh, you deserve to be hurt. Mm -hmm. You must hurt yourself. But mm -hmm. uh, I like it. I like it. <laughs> yeah. Dude, you, uh, you... Can you show us a little sample? Well, probably not, because can you hold up the jeans or no? I was gonna. I was literally just gonna bring it up. Do you want to see? I yeah, do want to see that. It's bro. not gonna look very cool because it's in a really early stage right now. But yeah, I can pick that. for those listening, by the way, this you may have the potential to snag these early. I think Harris might sell this pair. Maybe not. If you're like me, bro, you're gonna finish this pair and then be like. It's my baby. No, I can't, no, I, I can't part I, I, with it. I did go into it with the mentality that I was going to sell them. So these will definitely be sold. I think I'm going to. It's the first time I'm doing it. So these are going to be sold as long as they come out good. You know what I mean? Like I, yeah. if I if they come out kind of not as good as I wanted, I'll sell the next one. But they're they look nice so far. But I am currently making this pair of jeans with the i don't know if you can see it really well i can see it the the goofy meme it's the goofy damn meme. bitch you live like this <laughs> yeah you're gonna write that, that on the ass yeah I, oh that's actually a good idea yeah i so i drew it on there just like with a marker and i'm painting over it with some fabric paint and um i gotta let it i gotta do the other one and let it dry for a while but Bro, your girlfriend is literally going to have to keep an eye on you when you go out in those if you wear them around, bro, before selling them. You are going to be Mr. Pussy Magnet. Well, bro. I'm not going to lie. I, I just posted to my Instagram, which, by the way, if you follow me on Twitter, you can also follow me on Instagram. I post I post comics quicker on Twitter, but if you follow me on Instagram, I'm also like shit posting on my story a little bit more. So if you want to if you want to follow at Beetle Moses on Instagram, I posted this work in progress picture basically and i got quite a few responses right away that were like omg like 
I need those. Like, what do you? I was like, damn, bro. People, I think people really just like that chick from the Goofy movie. Dude, I would do anything to fuck her, and I know she's not even real, bro. She is so oh, fine. God. Although the mom is way hotter, in my opinion. Peg. Which one is the? She's Pete's wife. Pete's what? Pete's wife. Peg. Movie. Yeah. She bad, bro. Let me see here. Oh, yeah, she is bad. That's so funny that this one, like, did this, did, is this where furry, furries, like, took off in, in the new generation? Is this, like, where it came, came from? This goofy movie, Sexual Awakening. I, I know furries have been around since, like, the 80s, I think, but actually, like, is it, was this the, was this the entry level, or was Sonic the Hedgehog, like, the... I bet Sonic the, was, the actually, drug. for a lot yeah. of people, bro. Rouge yeah. the Bat was a huge. That was, that was, yeah, an awakening. I need for more a lot of pictures people. of her from listeners. I like how we got oh, uh, that guy who sent us the email of the milf getting her tits sucked. Sent we, us another sent us some email. More. I know, I saw that. Literally, that was just like the yeah, same thing. No it was like question. The... Just here's a picture of tits. It was the same format too, because the last time he sent it, I remember he he just the subject was just question mark, and there was like no words. Like <laughs> just yeah, I don't know if he's hiding his email or something, or I don't know um, what's going on in his name, but it's from yeah A W. But these look like a nice set of fucking fatties. This chick's jugged up. Here's uh, my only here's my only issue with the two pictures he sent us, and I think it's because it's milf porn. They try to find young looking guys, but the guys look very very young. Yeah, they do. They look yeah. like nineteen twenty at most. There's no way <laughs> they're yeah, older than it, that. Isn't that funny? Like, is it what? I don't know. What is it like if you're an old guy and you like milfs? But then you're like, you start digging up, up corpses. Bro. That's kind of <laughs> no. But I mean, like, then you're they're the same age as you, so it's like it all of a sudden becomes not even like a taboo, a kink. It's a regular life. Is that just just like, a normal man? Yeah, is milf, that just like the dream. Like, is milf that like fetishists the best? just transition into being regular people <laughs> later on in life. Humans, yeah, yeah. That's kind of um, the opposite of a pedophile. I, it totally is. I yeah. mean, it's and it's way way better way more based i don't get i don't I, I mean aside from it just being totally borderline illegal like i really don't understand the appeal for like lolly dude i had a moment fetishism. yesterday where uh some people were upset at the little mermaid comic i did and i clicked the profile it's always lolly porn dude this was beyond lolly porn they literally you know how sometimes like the lolly with clothes on it's like it really looks like a very young girl this was literally a baby like a naked baby and i was just like dude what the dude, fuck what? you actually should go to jail you literally, like dude, I, I, like you really can't you should not be and i get dude i i get the argument like dude it's not real but it's like dude you're literally attracted to proportions that are only found in babies like there's no way i mean and also a pedophile god i really hope i don't Oof, I don't even want to speak this into existence, honestly, but it just makes me think because like what happens now with like AI art that's getting like more and more convincing. You know what I mean? Like now people could like I wonder if it cuts you off. Like I wonder if it tells you no, you can't we won't draw that. For we you. will not like, draw a baby. They probably yeah, should know. do that. They probably should do that. Yeah, it's, it's kind of a dark topic, right? We probably shouldn't even be waiting. Uh, so let's have, this episode is about child yeah. porn. Yeah. No, it's just like <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's just like, well, we were talking last week about, because you were saying that Daphne is like, I don't get. She said it again can... last night when we recorded, and I was just like. Yeah, talking about like how you don't, how she doesn't understand um how somebody can find like a cartoon <laughs> attractive, like a drawing. Like, first of all, some of that is really like realistic. Ooh. And also, where is the line? Like, where does something, because at the end of the day, a photo image is also just like dots on a screen it's all the same oh yeah crap, right? oh yeah i don't know it's powerful powerful These are the things reasoning. that kept philosophers up for, for <laughs> ages um we get we did get a few emails should we get right into them or do you want to save did. them let's fucking let's do that and uh you know what i had a a bunch of people i i think maybe it's because i don't i don't 
put the email in the Spotify version of the podcast mm-hmm. because it makes like all the text look weird because it's always like jumbled. But I had like two or three people hit me up asking if we were still taking questions. The answer is yes. Yes. And it's always. Beetle Dog Cold Cuts at gmail.com. Send them along. Send, Send them, them along. along. This guy sent, uh, he actually did some edits of a soy facing that I really liked. Yeah, those that were really great. good. Those were yeah. really good. Did we talk about elephant seals? <laughs> Because he sent one of us pointing at an elephant seal, then <laughs> yeah, a I, grated Charizard. Yeah, I think that he, I'm, I think that he's definitely a, a big fan of the pod. So he, I'm a big fan of him, bro. Me too. We definitely, I mean, those edits are great. We definitely did talk about elephant seals. I think when you and Daph went on that trip to see them. Right? Yes, we did. You're right. We yeah, did, bro. They're so strange, dude. Crazy the noises animal. they make. It is beautiful, and they're massive. Right now, you know, he like sent huge. us, dude, like literally the size they weigh over a ton and they're like 10 feet 11 feet long usually but uh he sent us a picture of a sandwich and at first glance i'm going it's a vegan sandwich i'm not interested but it looks pretty good i can't it does even look lie, good. But it does look fucking good and he's using ancient grains bread i like which that. is that a marketing thing what what is an ancient grain well my i don't know but i mean i have a whole thing about like have you noticed that when you go to a grocery store uh if if there's a box of crackers or something but they want to convince you that it's healthy even though it's just this just the same crap it's just like ground wheat but if they want it to be healthy the box is always the same color it's this like yellowy beige taupe color that's supposed to just look like boring organic and yeah you know it's not as bright because junk food has bright colors but this is like good for you but i'm telling you all these fucking like wheat thins and ritz and toasted whatever the fuck and like, it's all just fucking carbs like i don't think it matters i think you could eat hot cheetos or that and it doesn't fucking matter i gotta send you a video i was getting so heated earlier but these women were talking about how like white people invented this lie that all that f- different foods are better for you and not and they're talking about how like you could eat donuts and that donuts are good for you and they were going through all these junk foods and it was like Someone looked up the women in the video and they literally work for it wasn't Monsanto. It was like some company that makes the majority of junk food. And it was so clearly like, that. but dude, they were using buzzwords like fucking ableism and like fucking racism and shit. And it was just well, racism is not really a buzzword, I, I don't <laughs> think. But it was like, well, it's a sad reality, but it yeah, kind of is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it, it, yeah, uh, yeah, it's fucked up. <laughs> That's really fucked up. I was like mind blown, but uh, yeah. I mean, but it's thank no... you for the sandwich, Peem lad. Oh yeah, thank you. I was gonna get into some more conspiracy theory shit, but we don't hit me, hit that. me, baby. I mean, I think that but it's be quick because like... this next letter has clown tits in it. I mean, there, it, there. Oh, <laughs> I. Uh, I mean, it's it's pretty legit. It's like a certified, like real thing that like poor neighborhoods and like urban communities have like like literally four fast food joints on a single block like usually whereas Mm -hmm. like if you're living in like a nicer area there's not as much like immediately accessible stuff but it's like there's definitely some conspiracy theory there where like you know you put junk food and shit that slows you down and gets you fat and like kills your motivation in like a neighborhood with a bunch of like undesirables and you just fucking keep them keep them yeah. down dude know? i, I kind of had that vibe too but then i remember when i was saying that in high school my ex uh current ex but she was my girlfriend at the time but she was like or and this makes more sense to me i think mm-hmm. the cheap garbage food is so much cheaper to purchase you know what i mean so i feel like that's why you'll see homeless guys eating like a little debbie's or something as opposed to like an organic salad which is right. like i dude and i don't know if you've been to la bro but a salad here like at a dinner place is like 25 dollars minimum it is so <laughs> stupid i know yeah yeah th- i mean who knows man who knows but i think that there probably is some uh yeah i think there's something to it like you only find Popeye's chicken in black neighborhoods, but it's better than KFC. And that's Popeye's not, is so good, bro. That's that's a multi any race can agree that Popeye's is fire. So why is it only in black neighborhoods? It's crazy to me when uh 
I don't, I don't know if this was a black neighborhood, but it was a bad neighborhood at my old job and they had a Popeyes and it was, cause I've been to ones without this, but this one had all bulletproof glass surrounding the chicken. Mm -hmm. And I'm just like, <laughs> it's, it's good, but is it that good? Like, I don't, I don't know if someone's going to yeah. come in with a gat and like, yo, give me all of the fucking chicken right chickens. now, dude. Yeah. I Although know. I, I know someone got stabbed when they made the Popeye's chicken sandwich. That, that sounds was, about right. That was like, because I think the line was so long. I probably would have stabbed someone too. Oh, me too, bro. Oh my God. I had to wait for fucking parking today for so long and I was ready to just I get out of my shit, car and bro. slash tires. Yeah, dude. I fucking... Dude, anyway. anytime I'm getting heated, I find the most illegal parking spot and I, I literally just go there and I just put my hazards on and like, I, know. Well, I didn't know, officer. I, me yeah. no no. I was pretty close to doing that because it was something that I just needed to like literally hop in and hop out of the store and there was like no parking. I was like, first of all, there's too many fucking drivers. Like we need more trains and a bus system and in a way, cars. we don't need more of them if they're going to be like the ones we currently have. Okay, because no, every ones. time I get on the bus, it's like there's literal feces smeared yes. on the windows. Someone's yeah. peeing in the back and it's like brother come on dude yeah, like, it, it's God. really shitty it's really shitty dude we um, need to take a page out of china's book like i would pay so much money to have like someone pull up in one of those carts <laughs> and have to run down the street while i'm in the back like that would, that would be, be banger Why well don't you know we have here's that? how we do that bro we go to some fruity ass crossfit class and be like here's your workout for the day we take the money that the passengers are paying. They think yeah. the, the people runners, they just think they're getting a workout in. Yeah. We tell them it's part of their fitness bullshit thing or whatever. But there you go. Then we can finance the podcast. Break, we won't be broke anymore. Break bro. it in. That's right. That's Dude, the cold we, cuts move. We are so close to 1K, baby. I'm so excited. Hey, click that subscribe. I see you watching without subscribing. Click. Click it. Click it. Hit if it. you're on Spotify and you want to continue listening on Spotify, just do us a solid. Just go to youtube.com slash cold cuts pod. <laughs> Just click subscribe. Go back to the, go back to Spotify. It's okay. And also you can see our faces on the on the YouTube video. Oh yeah. I'm spreading my asshole right now. If you're listening on Spotify, you want to see some asshole, you come over That's here right now. Baby. Like goatsy. You come over here right now. Going on right now. Yeah. Bro, this next um, question, I got a little story before I give my answer. Okay, let's hear it. Um, and it's a, it, this is a bit of a, a brain tickler, so you, you may need a few minutes, but uh, mm -hmm. First of all, Cheese Manfredo, he, he told me he's listened to every episode. He's a power listener. Not a nice power guy. bottom, a power listener. I'm Maybe excited. Maybe both. Who Could knows? be both. Um, hey, guys, Cheese Manfredo here with a head scratcher of a question. Mm. Tell me if you've heard of this one. Should a trans woman tell men she is hooking up with whether or not she has a penis before they have sex? You might say a trans woman should disclose what kind of genitalia she has before having sex with a man. But in that case, let me tell you, let me... But in that case, tell me what you think of this. Should a man with a micro penis tell the woman he is hooking up with about his micro penis before they have sex? Got this idea of a question from my roommate who was surprised to find out last second that the man she was going to hook up with had a micro penis. Here's a nude mm -hmm. clown I had on deck, by the way. Honk, honk. This is a banger of a clown chick, by the way. I know, She's kind of got that thing I don't like that. Um, it's not even a white chick thing, but it's like when the areola is like almost non-existence because it's the same color as the skin mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but uh because i love areolas bro i'm an areola man they sure. gotta be huge the nips have to be huge i was dating this one chick who had the most perfect boobs bro but uh -huh. the nipples like were like almost flat and i was just like Ugh, like so no, no, no. angry dude i need them to be huge i need them to be like silver <laughs> dollars bro is that, was I, that the story that you were going to tell? Or no, was no, that... this was the story I was going to tell. Okay. Um, my buddy, this big NFT Bitcoin guy, uh -huh. um, and he's my, you know, he's my buddy. I like him. Um, although on the, every time we mention him on the podcast, because he, he did an episode of Sissy Hypno Hour with us, and Daphne is always like, I fucking hated that fucking asshole. Like, she, she didn't like him. But anyway, he comes and visits us, and he's on Tinder because he's trying to get some puss. Uh-huh. And he's swiping through and then he goes, oh, my God. And we're like, what? What's going on? And he shows us this incredibly sexy chick. And he's like, dude, I hate Tinder because, like, you're really going to show me this fine ass bitch that I have zero chance with? Like, why are you going to tease me like that, Tinder? What the fuck? And Daphne mm -hmm. immediately, because as all trans women share one hive mind, they're all the same person goes, 
oh, I know her. She's trans. She's like a trans performer. And he immediately, right after he says that, goes, ew, and, <laughs> and swipes left. And I was just like, you were First literally all, losing your shit at how hot you thought you were. she was. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I get yeah. it. You, you don't have to suck her dick, but, like, you're really going to say you after literally doing, like, the cartoon, like, oh, yeah, like, like, hum it, hum it, hum it, hum it. literally yeah. did. Yeah, but that, I uh, mean, first of all, that's such a like, like, like lame response. Just to be like, ew, dude, I was laughing, bro. I look over at Daphne; anybody. she's just like, "What did you say?" But, uh, <laughs> dude, I, I think okay. there's a little nuance to this, but in my opinion, it's like, and especially when I talk to trans chicks about this topic, but 99 percent of the time, the dude is like hounding the chick. Like, cause you, dude, you know how dudes are. I'm the same way where it's like, give me your pussy, give me your pussy. And you're like flirting and like trying to do everything. And it's like, uh-huh. if you're the one who initiates it, why is it suddenly their fault? Like you clearly thought they were hot. Like, why do they have to now be like, mm, beep, boop, I have a penis. Like that, that doesn't make <laughs> any sense. Oh no, like, yeah. I get the argument though, where it's like, well, I need to know because reasons, but it's like. I, I really don't think it's like the job of the trans woman unless unless they were really coming on to some guy, then mm-hmm. I could see it kind of being a thing. But in 99% of the cases, I know it's the dude coming on to the trans chick. Mm-hmm. And also, I mean, yeah, I always yeah. see the argument that like uh, generally super far right guys are like, but you don't think we can tell. We can tell every trans woman who's trans, and it's like, then why do they have to disclose? Yeah, you if really, you can tell for sure, and I really don't think you can always tell. Uh, I don't think it's that Brendan, simple. my buddy Brendan, couldn't on Tinder. Yeah. He clearly could not spot that. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I mean, I I don't know. I think it's a tough okay. question, especially if you haven't thought about it, because like yeah. I know you haven't been in that circle too much. No, and it's like I know I've mentioned this on a previous podcast, and it's like. I just haven't really met that many trans girls because it because I just don't think there are that many. It's not even that they're like I think that probably I'm still in the upper percentile of having met like somewhere in the neighborhood of like ten or eleven trans yeah. chicks. Especially if life. you're on Twitter, you'd think like every other person you meet is trans based right. on like how many people. Yeah, right. It's a very strong community online, and it's like you said, like the, like it feels like there's a hive mind of trans chicks that are just like. But it, which is good. We are because, one. Yeah, they there should there <laughs> should be a community. Like I think that's a healthy thing. But I think that I don't know. It's a little nuanced because I don't know how I would react. I don't. I wouldn't go. I certainly wouldn't react as badly as your friend did. I would. I, I wish. I wish I could see you doing that at the bar in real time, <laughs> like in real life, to the woman. Like, by the way, I have a penis. Oh, but, <laughs> yeah. walking away. <laughs> so insane. I I think like. I don't know. Maybe this is, um, listen, you live and learn, right? Who who knows? But it's like my, my, my first instinct is that like, I feel like it's a little utopian for, for trans chicks to, that just anybody, like any guy who identifies as like a heterosexual male is going, that you don't have to like disclose it and that they just won't respond or, or react in any way i mean probably there are tons of men that wouldn't react or wouldn't care but there are going to be people that just don't know how to react or haven't been in that situation before and like i don't know i feel like i feel like mm, i don't know i'm I'm willing to my mind could be changed on this like i'm not i don't have a hard stance on this but i feel like open honest communication is always good always the best practice right like that like i think that there should i think that it's if if you guys are going to go on a date and hopefully you're i mean girls shouldn't go on dates with guys without getting to know them anyway because you will get you might get murdered you know what i mean so like you should have a period of time where you're speaking to them and getting to know them and i think like it is I think you probably should tell them just because like, I don't know. Though I I read the email that Fredo sent and he also, he included in it. There's like a second half to it where he says that the micro penis. Yeah. That the guys should, 
disclose if they have a micro penis. But I don't think that's a fair like comparison. Unless I think a... unless you're like the it's predicated on that you're hooking up. Yeah. You know, because that's the same thing. Like I know some chicks, especially when I was on Tinder, like the, the big thing is I think they've added it now where you say how tall you are, but I know that was a thing like some chicks asked. Like, oh, that's interesting. Yo, are you six foot five? I'm looking for a big boy to dick me down. Yeah. But, but... Uh, <laughs> dude, going off of what you said, I think at the end of the day, I, I don't think it's the chick's job. And obviously, I the only bad thing about questions like this is there's so many nuances and outliers. Like it really a lot of stuff mm -hmm. like this is case by case. I mean, it's 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 a human relationship, which it, yeah. like cannot be. It is the most complicated thing on earth, right? Like yeah. everybody's relationship with somebody else, with a close friend, with a significant other. It's like millions of microseconds of different like moments and emotions and oh, things yeah. like that. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. So like, I, it's hard to boil it down into this. Just like you should or you shouldn't. I think there's a lot of At like. At the end of the day, though. Mm -hmm. I will say, tr hot trans babes listening, I know you're listening, and I know you're hot. I see you. I'm looking at you right now. Mm -hmm. For your safety, I would highly recommend, especially if it's on a dating app or something and you're meeting them for the first time, I would highly recommend letting them know because there are fucking weird ass dudes There's out crazy there people. Who, would, crazy who people. would kill you. And it's like, it's not your fault you have a penis. Like, mm -hmm. it's literally not your fault, but they don't care. They would still literally kill you. So I think for safety reasons, it's sometimes appropriate. Um. Yeah. I mean, that. yeah. I don't know. I, dude, I would hate to be a girl on a dating app anyway. It just fucking sucks, man. It's a girl, dating apps suck for both parties, but it, like, definitely is fucking... Dude, I loved Tinder when I was at Elon, bro. I was like, oh, God. I don't know how I didn't get any like crazy STDs. <laughs> You're crazy, man. I'll be I, honest, bro. I hated, I hated Tinder. I hated dating apps. Hated using them. I've probably been on somewhere like four or five Tinder dates total or something like that. And they were all. I've never been horrible. on a Tinder date. It was always like, please come to my house. Fuck me. You know what I mean? There was one time uh -huh. at Elon. I'm going to try to bust this story out because we only have one minute, 50 seconds before the okay. first uh, cut. But I came over and the chick was like 800 pounds heavier than her photo. Mm -hmm. And I was like, <clears throat> my head was like, dude, you're totally justified to say, you know what? You don't quite look how you said you looked. Mm -hmm. But the other half of me, because I'm an extreme pussy, was like, you must fuck her or she will feel sad. You must not hurt her feelings. You uh -huh. must have sex with her. So it was literally like, and the funniest part is, is like, dude, it was so hard to stay hard and keep going. I was able to get hard, but like afterwards she was like, most guys only last like 30 seconds. You were going for like half an hour. And I would literally, my brain was screaming like, there was a reason. That's there was a reason I lasted so long, you bitch. <laughs> it was rough. Uh, it's funny. Uh, I was doing I, the uh... Patrick Bateman thing though. Cause she had one of those, like, you know, like the mirror closets yeah i was literally just like looking myself in the eyes like that you know that video of the indian man who like turns the camera and like a tear goes down his eye <laughs> literally what i was yeah, doing was the entire that. time dude and I'm i was in good shape so it felt good watching myself bro i'm telling you like of all the dates that i went on on tinder like we would it would be like oh let's meet you know let's meet at this bar in the neighborhood let's do something like this and it almost never got past that but just because i would be like I am not having a good time. Like, yeah. this, is not, like this is not fun. I don't want to like, well, it was nice meeting you. See you later. Yeah. I, dude, I haven't been on that app in so long. Well, you're dating even, a beautiful Latino woman. I am. She's gorgeous. And yeah, I was going to say, if things go naturally. south with her, yeah. I, you could clean up on grinder. You, <laughs> you could sweep baby. <laughs> Grinder's disgusting, man. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps. <laughs> Perhaps. We're back. We're back. We're back. Dude, the stickers came in. I was showing Harris during the break. I was going to hold off, but then I was like, no, they look way too sick. But we got Bussy Road. Let me hear. Banger of an episode. Yo. Beautiful. Banger episode. Banger of an episode. And Classic. The official logo. These came out so sick. Bro. Yo, bro. Bro. Yeah, those came out so dope. So fun. That's so fresh. Um, yeah, maybe sell those as like a limited limit, like an exclusive. I don't even know what to do with those. That'd be the move. I mean, I got a fat stack of these. 
if we want to do a cold cut sticker pack. The other that ones were just so 10, cool. but these ones were on sale. That's extremely cool. It's like 50 for like 15 oh, bucks. Yeah, you got a ton of them. That's yeah, I got so a ton sick. of them. I'll send some your way. I'll send you another threatening Al Qaeda package <laughs> for your parents Good shit. to enjoy, dude. Uh, you know, I wanted to make an um, addendum to my last uh, statement. Addendum is that right word? I know, I'm, I'm picking up what you're putting down. You know I mean? Regardless, we were talking. We were talking about like trans issues, and I just want to say I am not a voice on trans issues. I do not know. But you're an ally. You're the LGBT. I, you're the A in LGBTQA. No, that's not what. A is. That's what the A stands for. Ally, bro. <laughs> uh, but yeah, if I'm wrong, please don't take what I'm saying seriously. And to know what the what what. What do trans girls have to say about that? If like, you're a trans it... woman and you're upset by what Harris said, send me a foot picture, and we're gonna tally it up. We're gonna see who's upset the most. Okay, so shoot me a foot picture. Uh huh. More or... feet pics equals more upset. Exactly. Yeah. Um... Dude, they do this thing where they send you like because it's the sample. They like ruin one and then send a thing in case you want to reorder it. But I found if I'm very delicate with my fingies. You can save the ruined one. I can save the ruined one, and that one I keep because I have a file of every single one I've ever done, just as like a when I'm dying and my children are like, "Why did you never fail? Why did you never succeed at life?" And we're always a failure. And I can go because of these beautiful stickers and everything I've made. That's why. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Dude, I'm hype about the cards. These are so sick. Dude, yeah, I'm so hyped too, and I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can mess some stuff around, and this new set can be maybe like a beetle dog, a both yeah, of us or whatever. Fucking I, sweet. I can cut you in. I can cut you in on a, a little bit of the sweet moolah, but uh, that would be pretty sweet. Dude, I'm hoping these cards go well, and I don't have to get a little part time job. That would be so sick, bro. Because when I have a part time job, my not that my work is great anyway, but uh, I'm always <laughs> like, I come home after my gig, and I'm like. Uh, I could understand shooting myself. I totally understand why people kill themselves. I mean, dude, I, uh, yeah, I am saved. Do it. not want to do that shit. Hey, you saved it. Look at that. Um, I just realized that my, oh, I probably shouldn't even be announcing this cause I'm just going to open the fucking floodgates, but I, uh, I didn't even realize that I had something on my Twitter that people couldn't DM me unless I was following them. <laughs> So you're about to get way more horny bitches in your, uh, your <laughs> DMs, bro. Your chick's gonna have to watch out. Yeah, she's gonna watch out. I, uh, uh, yeah, I get messages on Instagram from time to time from just random people, or you know, also because people react to your stories and random shit. But like, I never get messages on Twitter, and I'm always like, ah, oh, that's so weird. I don't get messages on here. And then it occurred to me, I'm like, oh, I literally have fucking DMs turned off on Twitter, like unless you're following me yeah i'm yeah. following you i guess but um dude speaking of dms uh you told me this yesterday but i saw it on twitter but the chick who made that uh vaporwave album she, she retweeted, retweeted your thing she did yeah she re i which is like i don't know why i i for some reason that vaporwave album is so like it's so ethereal in nature that it didn't even occur to me that like a real human being like, was behind it. Yeah, album, yeah. You know what I mean? And so like, and it feels like it's been, it's like almost old internet at this point. Like it's been around for like 10 years that it's been like yeah. floating around online. And um, it's popular enough, even though it's kind of a niche album art, people on the internet recognize that, that album cover. So it, you know, I was like, eh, people will get this if I make a Peter Griffin version of it. And then the girl who goes by Vectroid, uh, somebody tagged her in the comments. And then and I saw that she like replied or like somebody just named Vectroid replied to it and was like, oh, wow, something like that. And it had and her comment had a lot of likes. And I was like, it's a lot of likes for just who's like this short, bitch. Yeah. Who yeah. is this? And I clicked on it. It's the girl that made the Macintosh. She she went by Macintosh Plus during the time that she was making that she made that album Floral Shop, which is like the most iconic Vaporwave album. And now she goes by Vectroid. And I was like, I don't know. That was so sick to me. I was like, it's the first time that I've been like, like kind of starstruck about just yeah. like oh shit this person just like showed up to the party i was totally just making like a meme 
Um, we got to get Seth McFarland to see it. <laughs> That's the goal next. We bring him on the pod. Big too. Uh, I did shoot her a DM and was just like, hey, you know, she follows me. And so I could shoot her a DM. I think it, she has it turned off if you don't. But I like shot her a DM and was just like, hey, like I've been a fan of your work for so long. Thanks for the retweet or something like that. She did not hit me back, but, you know. She's probably easy, shy. Easy come, easy go. She's a very yeah. ethereal being. So there you go. <laughs> um that's crisp great album yeah and su- and super cool and it's funny we were talking about when we had donnie on the episode i ca- i think i asked him a question because he was he still had the brie larson thing ongoing where all of the brie the brie cheese stands were right uh, yes were like coming to her def- defense and just going crazy and it made me ask him like has it ever because ha-? he's done that before where he's been picking on like a big celebrity basically like Nicki Minaj or something and then the barbs come out and like I asked him if he had ever done that and the actual person was like knock knock like showed up at the door and I I think he said no I think that he said that it had not happened but he also pokes at like really big celebrities yeah Although Dude, Brie Larson, did you see she did post something? I was like literally about to later. say. Yeah. I was literally about to say. I think she's tech savvy because you're talking about the interview, right? I didn't see the interview. I saw she post. She made. She put a post up of her like posing in a model shoot, and it was like, "Eat your heart out, trolls," or something like that. Oh yes, I did no, see I'm that talking. one too. But the reason I think she must be tech savvy because I feel like most celebrities, like Leonardo DiCaprio, everyone's like. Yeah, you fuck 10-year-olds. It's like, dude, he's too busy fucking a 10-year-old to look at Twitter (laughs) and tell. But Brie did an interview recently, and it was like some red carpet event, but they were like, "Uh, the guy literally literally sounded like Grover the Muppet. I can't do the voice, but it was like pretty much like, so are you you going to do Captain Marvel again? And she was like, oh, yeah. I don't know. Does anyone even want me to? It doesn't seem that way. And I was like, oh, okay. She must be, she probably is well aware yeah the, i don't think donnie i don't think necessarily donnie did that i think it's possible but i think she was getting shitted on for oh dude yeah before you got on twitter that was like a huge it was very oh, popular yeah. to be like yeah blah. but also dude I, the only thing i feel like she does deserve mm-hmm. those feet are so fucking <laughs> disgusting i'm not even a foot guy but my god dude she no. literally looks like she could grip a baseball bat with her fucking uh, toes dude they are so simian yeah it's vile. i thought you said you were into that though i thought that was like your thing no no just, no? Uh, just hung trans women's feet that's oh, okay, that's okay, a different subclass of feet in general i i will say did you see i know you didn't you don't watch the marvel movies or anything like that did you see them when they came out i've like seen any of the big ones my dad it was like a huge comic freak so he's like a kid when it comes to marvel shit so we mm-hmm. i have seen with him up until the we saw the thanos movies which yeah, was so Thanos. funny when I yeah. you were like, I'm watching a movie. And I was like, what movie are you watching? And you were like, dude, I was like, you're going to call me Reddit, bro. I, was, I know. It's just like, I know if I'm doing something or watching something, I can already hear you in my head. Just like <laughs> Reddit, Reddit alert. alert. And I was just like, I was sitting there watching it with my girl. I don't I, I don't know why. I think we just like we we just had it on and the the, the Thanos movie. And I was like, yeah, I'm watching a movie. And you were like, oh, what movie? And I was like, oh, God. <laughs> it's <laughs> over. The Thanos over, movie. Dude. But, um, the best but no, shit I- to come out of that was the <laughs> fucking someone animated that. I think it's like a Fortnite dance that they just made a Thanos skin, but he does like the twerking and he's got like oh, a yeah. big ass. Yeah. But people have just been like post that in replies <laughs> to shit. And I'm just like, banger. I think <laughs> the meme of the like, I don't feel so good where the, where the guy is like turning into dust. That that meme is pretty funny, and I think better than any Marvel movie is the um, Madagascar penguin like <laughs> evaporating <laughs> and saying like it's been an honor, Mrs. Obama. Yes, you know what dude. I'm talking about? Yes, dude. It's they a uh, great image. The OG image. Mrs. Obama ones are so <laughs> funny when it's like I'm gonna say the N word, and they're like no. Mrs. Obama, no. And then the White House just like explodes after the guy says just N. Oh, I just saw some picture trending because Joe Biden posted a picture of him 
and with Barack it, Obama and, and just says, and. it's so good, dude. Why did he do that? Be, this is proof that like the old generation, not not to be me. If we have any boomers listening, I don't want you to die. But it's like, dude, you do. need to give up your jobs. <laughs> you need to let younger people in, especially yes. when it comes to marketing. Because, dude, Disney just did that thing where they literally had to cancel everything. They took down all their marketing because they were like, they made two huge mistakes. The first one is like, you know how they sell Mickey ears? Mm-hmm. They do special ones for special events and it's some, <laughs> some event this. going on, but it's like, it's supposed to be platinum, but it literally looks like someone just shot a thick <laughs> load of cum yeah. all over Mickey's head. Yeah. It literally looks like semen. And then in the description for the ears, it's like Minnie and Mickey or no, it literally was just Minnie Mouse is dripping with excitement. <laughs> and it's like, dude, how dude. did this get past fucking the yeah. rough idea stage? Well, it makes me think that maybe there was some intention there. Do you think that's possible? That they I have doubt it with Disney, bro. They are such like a fucking obelisk of just doom. It's I met true. some kid at a party who worked at Disney, and I was like, that's cool. And he's like, no, it's so soulless. No. Everyone yeah, wants to kill terrible. themselves. Yeah, for sure. I had a here, – here's some spicy tea about this girl that I know. There, There was a girl that I know. I'm not going to say her name because – Say her name. She's not listening, but I just don't want it. It's in her – well, you all get to it. But basically, she, she was – She's not a close friend of mine, but I like met. She's a mutual friend. Um, she was a, she's like a Disney adult, like full blown, like obsessed with Disney. Her Instagram handle, let's say her name was Brienne. Her Instagram handle was Brienne loves Disney, and she was always going to Disney, only posting pictures of her at Disney, and then she would she started working at Disney. So then she was like working at Disney for like five years and was like, like just always there. Like when she wasn't working, she was still at the park, like just on her days off, like just like obsessed. Brianne loves Disney. And she used to show up in my Instagram feed all the time. And I was like, God, these fucking Disney adults. Then Disney canned like 10,000 employees. I remember when that happened. Yeah. During like, and they, they fired them all by email. And she was one of the, she was one of the people. I don't want to laugh at her misery, but it's just, that was a little chuckle. But she, someone clip that. Send it to Brienne. <laughs> she got, uh, she got cut. She got fired from Disney through an email, and became so embittered by it. She started working for Universal instead, and it was very hot tea. She changed her username from Brienne Loves Disney to just. Brienne loves and everybody was like oh my god did you see the change? bro bro <laughs> these disney adults man I, I it's just like if you are a disney adult and you're listening to this first of all kill yourself <laughs> literally kill yourself <laughs> second of all just let it be a lesson that like you can pour all of your heart you can make it your brand that you love this corporate entity that it is just this makes you whole they will never reciprocate that no, to dude, you. not at all in a heartbeat they will fire you and kill your family and take everything you own without, and not care yeah without a, just, they won't even don't lose a wink of as soon as you over. bad mouth the mouse it's over it's completely over dude uh, yeah Oh, God, Crazy. dude. You know, it's funny. I did that uh, Little Mermaid comic yesterday or maybe the day before, and I was so sure oh, God. my more right wing audience was going to love it because I drew the chick with like her eyes on the side <laughs> of her head. But it was like all <laughs> angry people that were like, blacks don't deserve a movie or whatever. And it's dude. like, OK, sh- bro, chill, relax. Yeah. But uh, I did get one retweet today that I saw because I was like scrolling through before we started and it was like. I agree with the sentiment of this comic, except what the fuck, like calling Disney like baby movies. I'm literally a Disney. Ad- I'm an adult. I love Disney and they're not for oh, babies. And it's like, no, bruh, bruh, bruh. I, dude, I feel like I've told you this before because it's like I always bring it up. It's just it was so sh- jarring to me. I was at the gym one time and there was a huge grown man like bi- like just a brick house of a dude who was decked head to toe in disney merch like he was straight up wearing he had like a donald duck lanyard 
a Nightmare Before Christmas shirt, like Donald Duck shorts, like a BB-8 hat, Bro. and some fucking like, dude. I want to say he was wearing the fucking shoes that the guy from Hercules has with the fucking thing, like the it was sandals. Like, yeah, and dude. he was on. He was like on the stairmaster, and I was like, I just was like, like, how the hell? How have we got? So how are we so far gone as a society? Like, why? It's so upsetting to me to see like Disney adults just like how did this how did it come to this what happened to you that made you like this you said and he was buff though he was a he was not that it matters but it just for visual reference he was like a built black dude like a yes. giant dude dude that's like seeing like if you saw buff hitler in the gym like you're like dude i should make fun of him but he can crush he my me. head he yeah, yeah, yeah. you're like yeah keep, keep was, doing what you're doing brother keep, I was like, keep whatever, it whatever man um crazy though yeah and it, but it's like disney adults in general i'm just like and it's it's weird because i can't really think of another i don't know disney just has this vice grip on people that gorilla grip it is gorilla grip for real like i and it's like i've been to, i mean i live in florida right i've been to disney a bunch of times in i've my never life. been bro you've never been to this one i've never been to any you've I've never, never been, been to disney world California? never been to disney what? whatever well first of all i grew up in saudi so it's like the, <laughs> there's the no, disney there's world no... there is like you go and watch a guy get his hand chopped off for stealing <laughs> that's like the equivalent over there it's like yeah, you buy say, sodas you go, and stuff you go to like the disney world over there and it's just one guy with a camel and he's like this is it. <laughs> hey, Agrabah. Agrabah, dude. Uh, we would always funny. joke because they, uh, you know how in like foreign countries they do a lot of like, it's it's funny, it's foreign countries and then America in dentist office where it's like off-brand licensed <laughs> characters. You always uh -huh. see them, but they painted a huge mural for Mickey and Minnie Mouse. And Mickey is wearing a full, you know, like in the 1600s, 1700s, like a swimsuit was literally like, full covering everything <laughs> yeah he was in a full covering everything and then Minnie was just wearing a skirt and was completely topless and it was like <laughs> what that's awesome. what is going on here? i love, the, I, like I love the idea thing. that they just were not using any visual reference like they didn't have a photo of them no handy, dude. So they were just like i'm pretty sure this is what it looks like confuser oh. with donald duck no donald doesn't wear pants that's like Donald, always a big funny thing right. for Disney adults. Like, yeah, Dad, Donald doesn't wear pants. Blah, right. blah, blah. He's just dick out all the time. Oh, baby. Dude, dude, do you remember? Wow, I just had this fucking crazy flashback. Do you remember the, um, uh, like Dolan memes that were like, like, for <laughs> yeah, <a while>? yeah. <laughs> like, what happened to that shit? That was like a funny ass trend that it was, it was literally here for like, three months and then gone again but it felt like everywhere they, they lived a little going. longer on 4chan and they got very very semi-racist i, I oh, think I'm to sure some points did. there yeah but uh dude it was always like dolan killing goofy or something right, right? or like telling they were him always, to hail yeah something. they were always very grotesque and like yeah or it was oh yeah and the the line is he would be like he'd be like Gooby, please. Yes, yes, yeah. Gooby, Gooby, please. Gooby, yeah. please. Yeah. Yeah, Gooby, please. I and also I think because you just liked it reminds me. I just saw that you like this guy's animation on uh, Twitter, and I saw his account, and I was like, "Holy fuck, this dude is a good animator." Then Pepe, the Star the, Wars the, one? No, the guy who made Pepe the Frog. Oh, Matt Fury. Yeah, yeah. Matt Fury. Yeah, I was. I mean, and I looked him up because all of his animations feature Pepe the Frog. Mm -hmm. And they're like really good, like really well done animations. And I looked up, I looked him up. So I was like, damn, this guy's obsessed with Pepe. Is he like an alt right? Like, who is this guy basically? Oh, you didn't know the story behind it. Well, I do now. It's that he didn't, um, he, he didn't approve of the alt right messaging that like that Pepe just became like an alt right symbol. And so but he invented Pepe. He invented, he drew, yeah. he, he made the first one. Yeah. The I comic is and called then, uh, Boys Club. Yeah, I knew that Pepe originated as like some other, and just for just for reference, I fucking love Pepe memes. Like Pe Pepe oh, yeah. the Frog is like oh, yeah. so funny to me. It, it's like it's weird that it kind of got. I don't know. I never even thought of it as like an. I know it's like an alt right symbol or something now, but it's like well, the alt right ones kind of transformed into groypers, which groypers. are like a fatter Pepe. That's the one doing this. Yes. Yeah. yeah. 
Dude, how how mad would you be if your Beatle guy like took off and you're like, oh, this is cool. Like people like the Beatle guy, and then you like just go online and it's just a bunch of like the Became Beatle guy, that. like kill blacks, kill Jews, kill and, yeah. Jew. Yeah, <laughs> I would be I, like, I mean, oh fuck. Yeah, he totally lost the reins on it, but it's not. I don't even know. I mean, how could he have predicted that that shit would happen? But... Did you see the Ben Garrison comic making fun of him? No, because not... Matt was like, uh, w- at the height of that, Matt was like. Um, Yo, uh, can you guys not? <laughs> can you guys like chill a little bit? So Ben Garrison drew this one of Pepe in a tuxedo walking by Matt, like on the ground, like, no, please, I I killed you. And Pepe's like, who the hell are you? <laughs> like, I, that's <laughs> honestly, that's honestly like it goes hard. A great it goes comic. hard. Yeah, I fucking love. The, there's a there's a comic that I or just a, a an image that I send around every once in a while. I'm sure I've sent it to you. I have it favorited on my phone so i have like quick access that's like a one of those like it almost looks like a realistic oil painting of pepe the frog and he's oh, like wearing yeah. he's wearing like a tuxedo and he's holding like a champagne glass and it just oh, says yeah like, that's a classic and one. it says like brandon sends his regards <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude, i love that one i so fucking love funny. that one so uh, good did they use Pepe's unfortunate because like there's this culture there where you, everyone hates the janitors? You know what a janitor is? Yeah, the jannies. Yeah, yeah the I'm, jannies. I'm like, I'm like hip to some fortune. Like, All right, go. Yeah, good, I good. But people will just post like Pepe with like his fat cock out, and then just like <laughs> enjoy cleaning up my mess, jannies, or just something like that. That's like just so brutal, dude. It's so fucking it's funny. So dude. good. Yeah, I I love that one. I love what's the little baby version of Pepe that also gets circled around. Also, there's or like he's Pepe he's like a- Groiper, and then there's Apu. I think Apu. Yeah, might he's be like the one he's like the little about. autistic version of. Yeah, him. Apu's like, the autistic one. I like that one too. Yeah, it's just dude, a fu- it's a funny character. Like I like the the image. It's funny. There was this thing going around, and I think people made fun of them enough where they all stopped. But it was like the because you know how like a lot of these guys picture themselves as Apu. Mm-hmm. It was like Apu, and then like their dream woman, which was just this like severely autistic, handicapped woman. And it was like mm-hmm. me in the future, girlfriend. Like I want to find an autistic girl one day, and it's like, bro, bro, <laughs> bro know, what? what? No, there's nothing wrong with autistic people are dating them, but. Uh, fantasizing no, fetish you know, autism is so weird to but me. it's also just one of those things that like uh, like everything gets fucking fetishized on, yeah. on the internet it feels big like feet, big sexy wait, feet. yeah wait long enough and everything becomes hot you know to people i don't know why the weirdest one to me i felt like i was like i didn't fully appreciate it because i was dating yeah you knew her, the one-armed chick at elon oh yeah you were dating her yeah we oh were dating, i didn't know that uh, I think it might have happened after you left. Or no, yeah, maybe I, maybe it happened later that year. But I don't uh, know, maybe. I used to love at parties. She'd pull out her ukulele, and this was her big bit. She'd put the, the you know, she had the little nub at the end of her elbow. Yeah. She'd pretend to play the ukulele and pretend she's doing the nub song uh-huh. or whatever. It killed. It killed at parties. Yeah. But uh, fuck, where was I going with this? Oh, dude, I was dating her, and then, uh, you know, I was on Fortune one day, and there's this huge thread about, like, dudes who – think it's so hot to date amputees and i was just like huh <laughs> it's not that great dude anytime we did doggy style we could literally go 10 minutes max because it was like oh she, like she literally had to use on one, one hand arm. to hold her up yeah i was like impressive impressive i, was I like, mean yeah that's that's tough man uh, tried to help her strengthen her one arm but it's those yeah. like little things that you know i'm sure like you go through life with some type of like disability like that and they you know they don't teach you that. They don't teach oh, you yeah. that shit. Like, I will admit, that. by the end of the relationship, I was fetishizing her because I was spending every night at her place. And I don't know if you've been, but uh, the there's handicapped rooms in Elon. Mm-hmm. Dude, the shower is this was the size of my house. Everything's like you can just like wave to get it started. Her room was extra big. And then the coolest thing ever, because she'd drive me around, is her handicap steering wheel was literally like a ship steering wheel with like a thing that you would just rotate to turn it. It was so fucking what? cool. But yeah, when we broke up, I was like, uh, I need to find another, Dude, another yeah, you, handicapped woman. You should have just chopped your own arm off, man. I, I was, was about to, bro. I was about to, bro. Um, yeah, that's funny, man. Yeah, I to- totally forgot about that chick. 
Um, Dude, we double dated with her and the freakishly tall one. I know, yeah. Oh, yeah. I slept with both. You you didn't even sleep with one, bro. You no, I up. didn't. Yeah, I didn't know up. what the I didn't know what the fuck I was doing at that time. You were leagues ahead of me. No, point. bro. I was <laughs> pretending to be leagues ahead of you. I was still very much stupid and afraid. <laughs> uh dude i fucking missed that house that you had though i missed just fucking dude, bro, we big... had banger times in there, dude bro. we were dude we should yeah when we if we make it big we should just buy that house again just, dude 100 like, percent. i'm like dude I'm, I'm kicking my there. girlfriend out you're moving in with me bro we're, we're, we're bringing boys life back dude bro. i remember playing like that's the first time i played bioshock infinite which is just, like such a good game dude i was so proud because you left elon and i was like Harris probably doesn't even remember me. And then you dropped a rap song and it was like playing with birdies like I'm Booker DeWitt. Tune dude, in I to my brand new shit. And no, I was like, dude, I, I drew that one. Yeah, dude, damn, you fucking dropped the. That's bro, that true. song that's is friend. You, people who don't know, Harris raps better than I do, bro. Yeah, Your raps are so fresh. Thanks. Toasty Patel on SoundCloud. No. Toasty Patel. <laughs> look yeah, him up. Yeah. Look him up. Nah, yeah, you can look it up. That shit is really old now. But actually, I, dude, I probably recorded, I recorded that probably during my, I was only ever recording that shit while I was at Elon. So, like, oh, for real? Yeah. So that all that happened at Elon. And I probably was just too, like, I didn't tell anybody about the about that like music project i was like just too you know now yeah you, you wouldn't know it now because now i'm fucking like a big baller a, annoying online because i'm constantly posting shit but it's like at the time i was like Ooh, i'm too nervous to plug my <laughs> shit that i'm working on because what if people think that it's cringe and now i look back and i'm like yeah i probably could have you know hyped it up a little bit more but even i was posting it <laughs> to uh, it's for the reason I started going on Mew on 4chan Mew. I was posting it. There's always SoundCloud threads like plug your SoundCloud. Oh hell on, yeah! On Mew, and I linked up with like a few other not IRL but like over the just through that little that thread of people who were all just people that were like plugging their shit. Um, like some of them were the ones that were sending me beats and uh, uh, Hitler yeah, Man like 1488. Yeah, and I actually gained. For for only doing it for something like six months, I gained like a nice, like little following on there. Was, yeah, hell fun. yeah. Yeah, it was a good hell time. Yeah. yeah, I haven't listened to that shit in forever though. Bro, sure I listened to that. your song "Thought You Was Rice" like twice a month, bro. It's so <laughs> fucking good. Thanks. Dude. I should probably run. I should probably check to see if any of that stuff is spreading like, still bitches good. like Nutella on my butter honey Dang, nut toast or whatever bro fuck, dude, really I, have that, dude, I could wrap shit. the whole fucking dude you don't understand i'm that's, a huge fan of toasty that's patel fucking crazy it's man. so good dude and Thanks. then montauk monster that's a fucking banger montauk ass monster. song i mean deoxy's like... pitch shifted that one is fucking banger as well oh fuck i got Dang, the whole i got them all downloaded on my cuts. itunes bro dude you should because i mean who knows uh, i thought i mean soundcloud almost went down permanently uh, I thought it did. What was up with that? They couldn't afford yeah, I think internet went, rent. Or... I think they made a few fucking um, bad. Oh yeah, dude! I just looked up. Wow. Yeah, yeah I pulled you... it up the other day. If you look up Toasty Patel, it just it links right. It's the first thing. Holy dude, shit! That's bro. how I got linked up with. Uh... I think his name is like Nick Dapp or something, but he's a really he's big on Twitter, kind of. But yeah. He... I thought it was your beat because it was on your page, but it actually, you know how like if you listen to a track, it'll play sometimes like a recommended one or something. Yes. It yeah. played his shit and I rapped over it and I, cause I thought it was yours. And I think I sent it to you two or three years ago and you were like, bro, I, I did not make this beat. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what this oh, is. Oh yeah. No dude. Yeah. None, none of the beats on this one I made that I had, I had a separate project that I was working on that did, um, that I was making the beats on that one, but mm. uh, that was Sugar Cell, which was like a Sugar Cell, one. right? Yes, that was I like a short-lived one. But um, yeah, th this one, yeah, dude. Some of these, like, fucking, I got like eight hundred plays on some of these. I, it's like weird. They've just been up sitting up here, like forgotten, uh, forgotten, like internet shit. But no, yeah, that's there. If you want to find it, yo. If you want me and Harris to drop a joint album. Type Hitler question mark in the comments <laughs> below, okay? And also hit subscribe. I'm watching. Yeah, that's also that, that also happens to be the name of the rap group that we're forming. Yeah, <laughs> Hitler, Hitler question mark. <laughs> Hitler. Yeah, dude, that's pretty bang. I can see that going viral, dude. There yeah, was a crazy time where like 
SoundCloud rapper. This, that was like the way you had to pop off now. I know. I know. But uh, I don't even know what you have to do at this point. Yeah. And I'm not, not, I don't even want to pull this card, but I kind of feel like I w- was on that wave before it became really Bro. big. But then I jumped ship because I was like, you know what? This is not my calling. This is not. Bro, my I don't. Because I, I feel the same way where it's like, I am not a rapper. I'm not a singer. But then some of the responses I get to some I shit, know. like that Mr. Gay Guy song. I know. People somebody love just, it. Somebody just wrote about the Mr. Gay Guy one. I think, they I think in the, the YouTube comment. comments. Yeah, yeah, in the YouTube comments. Yeah. That one is banger mode. Yeah, yeah. That one that, that was fun. But that's, you know, that's like a cover. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, it's, it's like, like a, a Weird Al, Weird Al Yankovic cover. Yeah. Anyway, dude, this next uh, – this is the last email I think we have. Wow, it yeah. literally took us almost two segments to get through the emails. Very wise that we got through them. <laughs> kind of started originally, quick. But this is from our boy Jack. Uh-huh. Ahoy, cold cuts. I like that. Send mm. us ahoy when uh, ahoy. you're writing to us. I like that a lot. He also has sent us a – I don't think I can show – the first picture because it's Stuart Little with a gigantic fucking veiny cock. If you wanted to blur it, I'll, bl- you yeah, might I'll be blur able to that. Post, and then uh, <laughs> the second one is Brian Griffin with a fat ass. He looks like me. This is kind of how I look with my buns. But uh, ahoy, nice. cold cuts. I normally don't listen to podcasts because they feel like talk radio for young people, TM. But my job mm. sucks ass and I need conversation as background noise. And I haven't had a good prior social media thing in a while. You win the Have Tolerable Voices to Listen to as Background Noise Award. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you you very much. Thank you. Anyway, enough flattery. Point of the email is that Harris mentioned not liking the Mr. Boop webcomic guy last week, which I think we talked about this because we saw this earlier. It was Kevin from Thought Cops. I think It was Kevin. Yeah, yeah. I... I think there it may have just been lost in the shuffle because sometimes the zoom camera moves around. Switches, so have, yeah. It, yeah, but I think Kevin was the one that brought this guy up. But um, I believe I did see. Um, yeah, I I have seen this, and uh, I don't know if I'd say hate. I don't know if this gives me a visceral hatred like the other guy. But if you as the viewer, well, let me finish the com- the the, mm-hmm. the writing. Um, please continue this beef. Alec Robbins, the guy that made Mr. Boop, gets on my nerves mm. in the same way as Jack Stauber. There's a soft boy vibe to them that them both that irrationally annoys me. I don't know. Maybe you would actually dig his porn comic follow-up thing to Mr. Boop. I just like hearing niche micro-celebs dunking on other niche micro-celebs. Best <laughs> Jack the Stock autistic furry guy character trope. P.S. Since you guys like getting shitpost images, here are some for your amusement. And it's the... The big mouse penis and right in the Brian ass. Griffin, but, um, uh, dude, I remember seeing this guy shit. Um, but he does have the same vibe as the Vampire Dad comic, where it's like, okay, three or four of these, I get it, it's funny, I chuckled, but it's mm-hmm. it, there's too much, there's too much. Mister Boop comic, let me see here. Type in Alec Robbins. I'll, I'll try to pull up a few up on screen just so we. Yeah, know. I, I yeah. honestly, it's like I knew that it wasn't me that said this comment, co- this comment on the last episode because I, I, I was like, I don't. But I, I see. It's just the creator has a self insert where he lo- he's married to Betty Boop. Is that what it is? Yes. Yeah. Okay. But he's just always. Let's see. I'm going to the insane asylum. I wasn't expecting that. I'm going to tell them to throw me in a cell because I'm scared and I'll go crazy and divorce you one day. Shut up. You're not going to divorce me. It would be so stupid to divorce me. And then she kisses him. Yeah, it's like I, I totally get what this guy's saying. Like, this is kind of cringe. There's one I'm looking at with Sonic right now where the punchline mm-hmm. is Alec going, Sonic is so sexually open. I'm jealous. And it's like, I, I, I get how there might be a, well, I mean, going off what he said of the soft boy thing, that does drive me insane as well. There's a lot yeah. of guys who have this like soft boy quality where it's just like, oh, dude, come on. Come on. Yeah. I, I think like some people lean a little bit too far into the just like, I am just a little boy man and I just want to be held by a big strong woman. And it's like, okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I, mean, it's like, okay, I do base. want to be held by a big okay, strong woman. Okay, base. <laughs> but you got to like 
you gotta you know you want you want to that needs to be under like two layers of like you know acting like a normal functioning yes. adult man yeah yeah and then you can and then you can have that feeling deep down as all as all men do but to yes. make it part of your brand and your image not based not yeah based 100 cringe pilled totally cringe pilled <laughs> totally cringe um but uh, yeah, I don't know. I, honestly, e even just saying this, I like this is not the most offensive webcomic artist to me. Sorry, sorry to the guy who wrote this email. I, I know you're listening to this right now, and we got the parasocial thing going on. But here, because I'm your parasocial friend, I'm allowed to disagree with you and say this is not our guy. This is not like I know the enemy when I see him, and this is not. This is. Not I hate the Dino guy ten thousand more, ten thousand times more than I hate. This yeah, guy. That's way worse. That's who um, we need to listen. If you're a fan of Gold Guts, you're gonna find out where the the Dino Riders live. You're gonna show up at their house with weaponry. Okay. No, Actually, but I'm, I'm not gonna finish. This. Don't even say it. But here's the thing: is that they're they have they're already protected against this because it's like 20 people that run it. So you couldn't stop them. Even if you went on like a murder spree, you couldn't yeah. stop them because they're located all over the country. And they don't I think they knew that, that most people would see the comics and be thrown into a bloodthirsty rage. Yeah. So they're like, we must make multiple <laughs> of us. What did they do that? I swear there's some section of the army or maybe it's like priests where there's multiple just in case someone dies. I don't know. Uh, if you know what I'm talking about, post it in the comics because I'd love to get into that. But I mean, it I, makes I sense. Think. I mean, even like the U.S. government is kind of built like that. Like, even if people get assassinated, you're just like, it's not going to, it wouldn't even change anything. You Dude, know I, I remember mean? when Trump came into office, everyone was like, He's you know, the killed. Nate Silver fucking baboon brain guy, but they were all posting shit like, now, if Trump gets hit by a train and Mike Pence dies and we do this and that, like, Hillary can still become president. And it's like, dude. Oh my I, god! I, no, Come it's on. not even what it would. That's not even has a pre. Well, it's definitely never happened if that a person who's running for president has been assassinated before they even had the chance to enter office. No, there's like thirty happened. other people that would have to. Oh, being assassinated before they enter office, right? Like somebody who's campaigning, like a presidential candidate. I don't, I don't know. I, I don't doubt think it. that's ever happened. I don't think so. I think someone tried to kill. Um... Who's that cool guy who's like really rugged? Teddy Roosevelt. I think he was oh, yeah, president yeah. during the time. Yeah, I think he, he got, got shot mid speech. A little, uh, a little realism, a little realism, yeah, a little, but, little uh, irony. But he got um, Teddy Roosevelt got shot mid speech, and they were like, "You got to go to the hospital. You got to go to the hospital." And he was like, "No, I will finish my speech." And I'm, uh -huh. I'm pretty sure that's why he won. I don't, I don't know if it was re-election or whatever, but. How do you not vote for the man that gets shot and then it's like, I will continue speaking. That's fresh <laughs> as hell. I'll uh, say this much. This Alec Robbins guy, he couldn't have done that. If he got shot mid-comic, he'd have to have no. Betty Boop take him to the hospital, okay? There was another, there was a YouTube comment that we got that somebody else, I think it was on the Thought Cops video that somebody was like, bro, I cannot believe you didn't mention this guy. And it's this guy like Adam Ellis. Do you know oh, who that yeah. is? Oh yeah, are you familiar with him? I'm. I I had to Google him, but then once I saw his like comics, I was like, oh yeah, of course I fucking know this guy. I mean, he's like, and I didn't yeah, he realize was very he was very popular. Well, he was a BuzzFeed. -like he was popular. Employee. Then BuzzFeed took him in, and then his quality just plummeted, plummeted. in terms of like what he was making. But now I he does his own thing. I can't even believe that BuzzFeed is still a viable company. That is like, how does that shit still exist? Are Dude, people trying... like eating shit. People just love shoveling <laughs> feces into their mouth. Like, here's it's something. just like a thing. It, wait, here's something. Do you always retweet, like, fan art that people draw you? Or do you sometimes yes, avoid it? Yes, usually. You always retweet it. Yeah. I remember there was one time someone drew... I was... I interacted a lot with this artist who disappeared. It was like some bunny guy. Mm -hmm. um, he was he was cool. Big lug, big bug or something. But someone drew us having sex. And I was like, oh, gee, all right, fuck it. I'll retweet it. It's funny. And then uh, the next day, the, the, the account that drew it was like, yeah, by the way, I'm 16. And I was like, oh, that's weird. That's very <laughs> weird that I fucking... I, I guess not really. I just retweeted some weird shit they drew, but the fact that they were drawing sexual stuff when they were that young, I was kind of just like, it kind of gave me the heebie-jeebies. Yeah, that's a little slightly. spooky. I mean, yeah. dude, I just I just logged onto Twitter just in the two second break that we took, 
and I saw that somebody drew a cum v version of my Grimer. Cum. Oh hell yeah! And, and that's the even, uh, the Aloan version. They put the shading on the final panel. Yeah, they that's actually, fucking dope. I gotta retweet that right, but I gotta think of something funny that I can't just like no caption it. I have to say something right. You could say, come on, man, but it's spelled C-U-M. <laughs> That's funny. That's actually pretty good. Dude, he's That's sipping a good. Capri Sun at the final panel, right? He is, yeah. Final Does that panel. translate? At first, when I saw it for a millisecond, I thought he was popping bubble gum, but then I was like, oh, no, that's it, because I did the same shit. You scrunch it and you kind of leave it in your like mouth. chewing on the straw. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 like, had the image in my mind that he was doing that, and then when I drew it, I was like, I don't know if this is like a universal thing where it people are going to recognize it. it. Yeah, but I guess it worked out okay. I think it translates because he has other junk food and soda like lying around yeah. him also. Dude, but, I would yeah. love to see a comic down the line where you return to that kid and he's a little older and his grimers evolved into a muck. I'd love to see him in his oh, uh, that'd be, that'd young be... adult years. The man Damn. has a muck. That would be pretty... Dope. Maybe did I you base the kid that. looks just like how a kid who had a uh, grimer would grimer look? But did you base like... him slightly on the OG model of the cue ball trainer? No, I don't even know who that is. Pull that is. up because that does look. Uh, it looks like he would grow up and become cue ball trainer Pokemon. Pokemon. Let me see this here. And maybe oh, I'm just he... being bald phobic, but do you you get that vibe? He does. It's like the... Yeah, he totally does look like that guy, but total coincidence it's just that's what to, that's what he would look like i mean it probably there probably is something there because i have played a lot of pokemon so and i see in the images that he has like a coughing so I he guess uses he coughing has, like, wheezings grimers and then uh i think electrode or elect voltorb and whatever electrode yeah it's voltorb's evolution well yeah electrode yeah, electrode yeah. okay um, out of all the pokemon that is the most laziest super lame fucking I, I, design I'll, even even as a kid i was like that is fucking lame dude. did you know they have one of the highest speed stats though no that's interesting i did not can, know that can they roll around is that what it is i guess the only time i loved electrodes was i think it's gold and silver but you have to go into a power plant and there's like mm -hmm. a bunch of electrodes charging this power plant that you have to like fight but, oh uh, really? Goddamn, Gen Two was so good, bro. What's your favorite out of curiosity? This um, has nothing to do with the podcast. I do love I uh, I do love Gen Two. Gen, oh, dude, honestly, the first four gens are all so good. Banger, I, I, dude. Banger. Wait, what's Gen Four? Diamond Pearl. No. Gen Four was Diamond and Pearl, and that's when they brought in some. I did not some... like that one that much. Dude, people went are... crazy over it. Yes, I am one of those people. I think they had some really fucking cool. I loved the. Uh, I loved the like Palkia and Dialga and um, what was it Heatran and that's also where they in, they introduced Shaman and Darkrai and Arceus and then uh, I thought it was cool how they did a bunch of evolutions from Gen One and Two like they yes, gave them more that was super fucking cool that's when they well, the Rhyfury like, looks Tangrowth like shit bro Tangrowth what? is so fucking Tangrowth fresh. is Rhyfury, dope. the Ride. Rhyhorn evolution. Oh, that one. That one looks. Because like Rhyhorn looks fucking awesome, and then it's yeah. like, I am a fat retard. But it it do, it actually makes up for the fact that they the um Magmar got a, an evolution that that was way fucking cooler than Magmar. Yeah, Dude, I, because... I hated the Electabuzz evolution though. He has like whiskers. Oh, what? And shit. oh, I think that's an underrated evolutionary line. I think that should. You know dope. what we should do for an episode? Um. Because I'm assuming you don't have extreme Pokemon autism like me, but they, I think it was last year, or the year before, but they leaked a bunch of, I think it's like 200 to 300 cut Pokemon mm -hmm. that were cut. And some of them are so fucking cool, dude. That would be fucking dope. I mean, dude, I know we keep talking about this. There has to be a way to do it. I would love if we could play. You know what? Nintendo would probably just fucking like they probably have snipers in the. No, no, people right do now. Pokemon playthroughs all the time. Oh, on really? YouTube. Yeah. Because, dude, have you ever done? Have you ever played the Nuzlocke challenge? We should do a Nuzlocke that? challenge, bro. We if, should. If you and I did a Nuzlocke, like on a on one of the like earlier ones, like maybe a Pokemon Emerald or something, that would be really fucking cool. Um, I tried a Nuzlocke randomizer last year, and I instantly put it away because I think they as my starter Pokemon, I got like Zapdos. I got some legendary, and I was like, sick. this is unfair. That's yeah, but it's, unfair. It, it, it takes away from it.
And you also, you want something that evolves. You want a Pokemon that's going to, like, the the evolution part is so fun about yeah. having, like, it's such a dope, it's so dope. Um, Yeah, I would love to do a Nuzlocke challenge. That would be a really fun little series, like a side series. But yeah. um, here's another Pokemon autism thing. You know the Pokemon Shuckle? Which yeah, I think of course. is also, I think it's also Gen 4. Some of the best defense stats. They can also yeah. do the most damage. Is that what you're going to tell me? I you're going to try to well, slip me up? No, no, no. I didn't know that. I just knew that it's not natural. Like, you have to juice it up, right? You have mm. to, like, hit it with a bunch of, like, what are those little like, things that you can give it something that raises its, Attack like, up, stats. defense Yeah, up. something like that. But it has the highest, like, potential defense and special defense of it. Like, to the point where it's it's unkillable like yeah. you cannot yeah i yeah. think because of that though it's the one pokemon that can do the most damage in one hit i forget what move there's some move that affects or that its strength goes up with defense oh that's interesting yeah but someone did a video calculating it and it's like it can hit the hardest but uh, that's sick or did dude i love watch... chuckle i felt did... so bad because in gen 2 it was like the only way to get it is that guy was like Minus Team Rocket's scaring me. They're going to steal my Pokemon. Can you uh -huh. hold it for me? Yeah, and he gave me I totally remember that. Yeah, yeah, But then if you went back, he's like, okay, they're gone. Can I have him back? Yeah, and you I could know. be like, no, bitch. <laughs> I know, <laughs> okay, yeah. Hold on to it. It's so funny. Uh, the, um, yeah, dude, that game is so good. I fucking, oh, man, we should, do, I think Pokemon playthrough would be really good also because also when we were trying to test it out with a game that was a more like adventure-y, it was lagging a little bit on my end slightly think, yeah earthworm gym yeah earthworm gym but a pokemon game there's no like there's no the action is not as like uh important like, yeah i think that yeah that would be pretty fun i um, still have to figure out how to record on discord because i that, oh, that poor guy who sent us the walkthrough for obs i tried it and my brain literally almost melted into soup we can take a look at that together. Maybe two heads are better than one about that. Do Do you watch Pokemon videos on the Cold Cuts YouTube channel? Because when no, I, what are you talking about? Yeah, because when I'm on there, uh, all of the recommended videos are like, I just beat Bro with this crazy lineup, and it's like some <laughs> Pokemon shit. And I'm like, is Zach just watching Pokemon? Dude, videos? I have a guilty pleasure <laughs> of. Um, oh, yeah, have you funny. ever played? Well, dude, here's a, we should play. This is what we should play: Pokemon uh -huh. Showdown. But you can pick any Pokemon you want. It's literally oh, Pokemon yeah, yeah. Stadium online. I used to have it on my computer. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to play it all the time. But this guy goes on because, dude, it's so fucking gay. But on the Uber tiers, mm. everyone is always like. Arceus, 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 Arce like 10 Arceuses are like just the most overpowered Pokemon. So this guy goes yeah. in with like a Zigzagoon and like a butt or something and just yeah. fucking sweeps. Yeah, dude. and I can so see he, he includes it in the thumbnail that like the chat log from the other person and they're always like, bro, just quit now. Like they just quit so now. You're heated, getting out bro. of here. And then, and then he like, I'm assuming he like whoops their ass. Yeah, Destroys them, up. bro. Just fucking murks them. And it's yeah. so good. I had, I had a friend that was, dude, my fucking Filipino friend, same kid. He was broken at that fucking Pokemon showdown shit. Or like, or like, do you fight him? Yes. Anytime that I put, and he had one of those like Motley crew ass looking teams where it was yeah, like, yeah. He had like a fortress. That would be the first thing that he put out, which would just drop poison spikes. And right away, you're fucked. Now, yeah. any whatever Pokemon you have out there is immediately losing either poison or they're losing HP. And then it's like the rest of his Pokemon were, it was like that type of lineup, like a bunch of just shitty ass Pokemon. But he had calculated some fucking way that it, he became like unbeatable. And I was like, bro, this is not fun. I'm not going to play against you anymore dude too good <laughs> poor sport dude it's insane going from like and that's why i want them to make like an adult this sound, I, mean, I sound like a disney adult i'm a pokemon adult but i want them mm. to make like an adult pokemon game where like because you play the ones on game boy and it's shit and it's like you, you get the cool moves like nasty plot it like maximizes mm -hmm. your special attack or sword dance mass you know mm -hmm. maximize your attack but it's like i can just spam earthquake and kill 90 percent of everything like there's no need to be strategic and then you go into yeah. the, the online pokemon showdown shit and it's like you know you drop poison spikes and fucking stealth rock and then someone sends out a, a pichu that knows rapid spin and just just <laughs> it gets rid of that shit and you're just yeah. like what 
Yeah, dude, uh, dude, fucking classic. I wonder, maybe we can play head to head to head. That would we be can because I think we'd only have to record one screen because it would yeah. be uh, just us playing, but just side by side. That yeah. would be pretty funny, actually. Too. If you guys yeah, want to see that, type Hitler in the comments <laughs> with a question mark, and we'll play now a little. We're, now Pokemon we're not going to know. Now we're not going to put that. Put it two question marks for Pokemon. Yes, yes, one, exactly. One question mark if you want us to record a rap album, and then two for the Pokemon. Yes, two for Excellent. Pokemon. But so if you so one for the rap album. So if you want us to do both, right, Hitler. Hitler, like, yes, right? like, yes, so exactly, yeah, yeah. exactly, <laughs> perfect, yeah, yeah. perfect. Um, and hit subscribe, hit yeah, subscribe. Hit I think subscribe. that was, uh, I, I pulled that down when I was pulling up the cue ball trainer class, but yes, yes, that was the last question. Although, uh, I we may disappoint him because we we didn't have anything too mean to say about this guy, um, uh, yeah, Benny sorry, Luke guy, or whatever. I know, yeah. Benny Boop's not even hot, bro. Her head looks just, like a brick. I know. I don't really get that, honestly. But um, yeah, I can't um, I can't start beef with people that I don't like. It's a gut thing. Mm-hmm. It's a gut thing. I'm not. I'm not here to throw shade at just like random creators, even if it, you know, even if I once we have it. money coming in, I'll start getting I'll very start. mean. Once oh, I can yeah. live off of this shit, I'm, I'm becoming very mean. But, but until then, it's like. Oh. Just I, it I can barely pay my rent. Why should I make fun of anyone? You know what Wait, I mean? What, what what was the situation with that just happened with House and this Freud comic? Was, oh, uh... something so cringe, bro. I think people were making fun of him for like saying it wasn't original enough. But I thought the comic was funny. It was like a four paneler. Have, have you like seen it? it? Yeah, I saw it. Yeah, somebody okay. reposted it. Yeah, but I guess a bunch of fruit balls were like, "This is not unique or not original." I thought he would just use his mental Buddha ness to just like block that shit. Yeah, out, and but... also who cares? I mean, the dude puts up like four comics a day. Why? Like, yeah, just one literally, dude. I don't know, whatever. Bro, I thought Vosh was being a little uh, sniffing his own farts when he was like, eh, "If people put up with like half the hate I do, they'd kill themselves." And then it's like, anytime I'm in a shit storm, where it's like, eh, "Fuck you, you date a tranny." It's like. Yeah. I should kill myself. Like, it's like you like it, internalize all of it. It is. It is just annoying. Like, just I don't. Yeah, it's just it's just human nature when you feel like, oh, people don't like me. Like, I have to like. But it I helps when they're just... the literal wanting to fuck babies. That's the one thing. Yes. Where it's like, oh, I mean, okay. Whew, whew. I mean, dude, it's like nine times out of the out of ten when I like, I was like nine times out of the ten. Like, I was almost what I said. <laughs> <laughs> like, when I uh like if like it just happened where dude it was so funny it actually I I think it was on the Spider Man comic which did which like it it, it has like ninety three some some shit talk about sniffing your own farts, close to one hundred k like, close to one hundred k close to one hundred k it had a lot of like and then like and it was like four days after it had been posted and all of a sudden I'm like scrolling through my mentions and I just saw this one guy no profile picture which is always like just stop just stop why do you not have a profile picture <laughs> the guy it was just some guy named like paolo and he just commented not funny <laughs> and, I was like, and i was like dude what the fuck why would you even why would you even say that why dude, it's literally the that? fucking thanos snap shit where you're feeling fine and you see that and you're just like like, yeah, it's literally like literated, dude. It's been an honor, Mrs. Obama. <laughs> like literally, I, I, and I saw that, but I, I was also like, that was an easy one to just laugh off. So usually, I just laugh it off anyway, because it's like, yeah. But I, I think like I don't, I didn't see what the comments were on the original house thread. But if people were being like really like, I thought you were better than this or something like that, then if somebody was saying that to me, then maybe I would be like. Okay, I guess I should take this down. Nah, dude, I doubled down. I almost did a response comic because, like, I think we've talked about this on, on the episode, but this whole concept now that comics and humor is, like, supposed to make a point and not make people laugh. Mm-hmm. Literally, like, people were looking at that stupid Little Mermaid comic I made, which I thought mm-hmm. both sides would enjoy. Like, mm-hmm. I, I was thought it was so clearly a goof, a gaff, mm-hmm. And, uh, straw man. 
fucking straw man and i was gonna make a comic of like a guy reading garfield and like i love lasagna and like <laughs> fucking straw man but like dude if you feel that way like every comic needs to make a point or have a political point kill yourself <laughs> literally kill yourself you are like, so useless as a human yeah it's mind-blowing uh, yeah it's just amazing how many different things people can get angry about online and it, like it's just like and twitter is just like it's just it's the hub for that that's where you go to see to people, get angry like yeah. going like, yeah. <laughs> diving in the fucking it's like I mean, every little fucking thing. And what's crazy is the this this Little Mermaid thing. I didn't. I wouldn't have even known the movie was coming out if it wasn't for all the hate that this movie was getting. Like this. So, and then now, of course, there's the other camp of people that are just like, like, I I don't know. Because also, it's like, why do you care? Why do you care? The, you know, people are now. There's some trending tweet that has like destroying white culture. Well, well, there, white yes. culture has been destroyed. Well, obviously, that is the most st stupid side of the argument, right? That's this part where you see that, and you're just like, dude, you, how do you even argue with this? But then when I see actual people who are like, you know, good in good faith, like replying to that. And now they have a tweet that has like 200,000 likes and it's just like, you know, racism in America. It's just like so pervasive. It's like, just ignore this shit. Like yes. th th these yeah. people, th like, why are you even <laughs> acknowledging this fucking Little Mermaid ass shit? All of you guys going back and forth about it, you're just feeding in. Disney is just sitting there like, Yes. Yes, yeah, yes. we're not going to change the movie. We're going to keep doing this because now look how many people are talking about this. You know what I mean? Well, dude, I had a bunch of people who earnestly thought I was being paid by Disney to start <laughs> discourse. And I was just like, that's funny. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's so weird to me, though, that most of these mm -hmm. like super far right guys clearly don't even live in America. They're like from Brazil. No, oh, yeah, something. you can tell. You can tell by how they write. You no, you shit. can tell because all their profile picture is always a soccer player. Yeah, always a fucking <laughs> soccer. Yeah, player. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm always like, you fucking. I know it's funny. I know we have a lot of like European and New Zealand listeners, so I love. Shout you guys, out to Poland. Shout out to Poland. Shout out New Zealand. Shout out some of you like European, your you Euro guys. But god damn, bro, you Europe, the PR team, it, it fucking sucks. Because <laughs> if you want my opinion. I know Americans get a lot of shit, but you guys are some fucking bimbos over there. Like all the shit that I see you guys post, I'm like, and you talk with those silly accents, just the accents I can't handle, bro. <laughs> hang it up, dude. Do you see that post someone did? Uh, I forget what sentence they were even. I think the sentence was "We are looking for him" in Dutch, and it was translated to "We sucking dick." <laughs> and it's like, dude, you can't. That can't be your language. Yeah, I'm sorry. I cannot be real. I just saw so. I just saw somebody that got like. Dude, this Dutch guy that got dunked on, or like a Danish guy that got dunked on for doing like nothing. Like he just posted some of it, and some guy was just like, like some guy replied to, like he posted a comment and was just like, "Oh, brie cheese is my favorite type of cheese." And somebody like replied to him, and they were like, "You're Dutch." And he like, and it, and it had like like two hundred likes, and the guy replied and was like, "Yes, I am Dutch. Like, so what?" And the guy was just like, he, he's just like, kill yourself. And that one had like 3,000 likes, like the reply to this Dutch guy. And I was like, Jesus, man. You guys like. Brutal. You're going for brutal. the like, throat, these dude. Euro guys cannot catch a fucking break. But bad, it's a bad online presence. The fucking, um, <laughs> the soccer players need to hang it up. You got to. Yeah. Contact us. We'll run PR. We'll run PR for your your nation or whatever. We'll make Dude, it fresh. And I posted on Instagram today because I just broke seven thousand followers on Instagram, brother. And and I as a little like gag, I w I wanted to look up who has the most followers on Instagram just to and put myself side by side with them and just be like, wow, oh the Cristiano and it was Cristiano <laughs> Ronaldo and I was just like. You fucking euros! Like, who the fuck cares about this soccer player, bro? Like, it's just like, why does he have half a billion? It followers? doesn't make any sense. He's bro. not I think even he's pretty. Anything. Is he? He's not even that pretty. He's People like consider him really guy. handsome. I mean, he's I think, of course dude. he's a handsome guy, but like a billion follow, half a billion followers. 
on Dude, Instagram. That, to me, he deserves it simply because of that video. Of, yeah. My heart stereo. <laughs> listen to me. He I shakes love the guy's that hand. Shit. Yeah. And I you can tell that. he knew he was gonna win whatever award that oh, was. Oh, like, of the course. Way like, he didn't even break a sweat. He was sitting right in the in a front in the front row. They had like so a so fucking like, good dude. For him. So good. Yeah. My heart stereo. And I love like people using that as a response like when did you just you just posted that for something like really someone said funny. i was like the best chaser on twitter or <laughs> oh, yeah, something and i was it. like uh it shit's so good God, shout really... out to that account they i saw i was scrolling through my timeline it looked like they got nuked their account was deleted r.i.p oh really well were they complimenting you oh moment of silence they were they were because uh one of their friends hit me up and was like yo check this out and then i guess they dm their friend and was like i hope he knows it's a compliment or something and i was like yes 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 excellent excellent you know we um no we weren't going to talk about it on podcast so i'll tell what you off this? pod what it whoa, whoa what is this drama no, no. We, this we, juicy drama we no, we talked about it on the phone and it was it, something you just said made me think of it but it's um it's too dangerous too dangerous not not that makes it sound like i don't like i'm scared to talk about it it's not that it's just like i don't even want to dude now you know, we have you know we have to do a patreon with bonus episodes where we just get yeah brutal just i think dangerous. that i think that's it if you i think patreon is where we'll turn the hater mode on but there's like some people that i just don't even want to bump shoulders with even oh, in a negative okay yeah way. i think i might know who you're talking and, and about so I, and so i just don't even want to bring it up but something yeah. you, you know, what you just said about the dms and shit just made me think of that but yeah that's, yeah that's you're going you're turning into bear jew mode i can see you right now you're oh. revving it up you're, is it because it's like, cocking would, that bat back it's just not worth wading into that it's yeah it's not worth talking about all right it's, all right it's, too, all right. it's just a dirty fucking soft branch of the internet that i just don't don't need any 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 part of that really. powerful power we yeah. just we, we want cool people and hung bitches okay that's the that's only right. that's our and main po- audience positive vibes only. positive vibes yeah you and want to get pa- you want to be patreon, paused you're saying yeah the patreon is where we're like going to get like full-on like dark mode like yeah. death note will be fucking like i'll, I'll do the emo hair Mm-hmm. And like we'll get like fucking. We'll see. We'll see if we even get that far. I'm still. We're still trying to get to the uh, the old 1K yeah, on YouTube 1K before first. we even yeah. uh, we even think about that. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that would yeah. be so embarrassing if we became podcasters. I mean, like it's the final evolution of all white men. Yeah, but I mean, we we make zero money off. Of, I know. Off of yeah, this, it's, I mean, more, yeah. Right now, it's a hobby. But once we start making money, I'm like, oh baby, this is it. I'm but in. I, I'm in. It's funny. I somebody was talking about. I don't even know. One of my high school friends that I saw recently said they were talking to another one of our high school friends about me, and she was like, "Oh my god!" And like, yeah, it's crazy. He's like. A podcaster now or something like that and and i was kind of just like like I, what about all this other like i'm doing all this other shit is that the only thing takeaway like is that not what, even I a mean, podcaster you're on yolo swags podcast i know i'm yeah. just like what about i love when this? people assume it's just mine bro and you're like dude what the fuck like <laughs> yo we, what about me baby we just got a comment on a youtube video i saw before we logged on here that was like i came for zach it stayed for Harris. Oh, for real? Fuck yeah, you, whoever so commented that. that. Who commented no. that? I'm coming to kill <laughs> you. Funny though, yeah. I'm coming to kill you. That's all right. I, I like the favoritism. I think some people have favorites. You know, type what team are you on? Type team beetle or team dog below. Your, your let team us know. is your team is a lot stronger. Not at, at all, dude. I am such a fucking loser hack. There's no way. <laughs> That's why I'm like, <laughs> I, dude, I saw you blowing up. I said Hey, remember me, Harris? We should we should link up. <laughs> we should do stuff true. together, bro. That's not even true. Yeah, yeah uh, I'm a has been. I mean, a dude, all, like, dude, it happens with all my friends when I, when they're watching. If they watch the podcast or something, I'll be like, oh, what you know? They're like, oh, I've been watching your podcast, and I'm like, oh, what you think? And I want them to be like, you know, it's great, man. You're you're a great, like, you're great. But they're always like, dude, your friend Zach is so funny, man. Like that guy is oh. hilarious, and I'm like, all right, but what about? Me, <laughs> you play a great straight man. You're really good as the straight man, dude. That's not what I want to be. I want to be quirky, quirky nah, white you're, boy. You're, you're more quirked up than I am, bro. 
Yeah, maybe. You just got to start ass posting. That's what the people want. Bro. <laughs> I think I think I might do a little ass post when I hit uh, 60k again. Well, I stopped. Um, I stopped doing posts because I had recently broken 30k on uh, Twitter. And I what are you also, up to 33. I'm at yeah, like 33 now, and I didn't um. I didn't post one for 20 and and so when I didn't post one for 30 so now I'm like I'll just wait until 50k to post like a I'm like oh thanks for 50k it's amazing but you know that's 20 we're 20k away from that well 17 you're close away, so. you're well, close we'll see, we'll see by the way bro I wanted to bring this up because I want you to hold me to it I need you to ask me my weight every episode okay so I'm okay. starting it now I'm not gonna let you look svelte you look like you've you're been... gonna make me blush, sweet yeah, cheeks. You actually I'm the look fattest like you've lost I've ever been. I, I'm the man, chunkiest I've ever been. It might also be the hair growing. I think when you had the shaved head, dude, I'm looking... losing it so f like right here. It looks like it's fading so quickly. Dude, I dude, hate that's it. that's normal. That's just the John Ham. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the yeah, John Ham. Yeah, yeah. Flattery, flattery. But uh, two fifteen. Okay, so each episode, ideally. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be dropping a little bit each time or if I, as long as I don't go up, that's the goal. But I'm trying to get back down to my college years of 280. That's the goal, which I was oh, before. 180. Uh, one, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Christ. this is a feeder podcast. Uh, that's why I need us to make money to afford dude, food. Dude, Nico, we should be like the new Nico Cotto avocado. Like, dude, I could post my butthole. Oh my dude, God, I would we... hate myself. Have you seen all the edits of his butthole where there's like a cat crawling out of his <laughs> ass or like all this random shit? It's disgusting. I dude, he is he is um you know what? He's not well, so I don't really want to even say this, but he is just that guy is grotesque. Dude, he I is... can't imagine being a gay guy and weighing that much cuz dude, uh, I don't care if you have a team with you. There's no way you're keeping your asshole clean when it's that size no, there's no, no fucking way dude and i just saw some um i didn't just see it but a while ago i watched some fucking white man has been here how can you tell 45 minute video essay i fucking <laughs> watched one on nico Cotto, avocado because i i like he was trending for some reason like a year or two ago and i like watched some video on him just chronicling his extreme weight gain and in rapid deterioration of his mental health and um and just some of the beefs that he's been in with other people i know turkey tom when we had him on also was talking about how he had done like that was when i asked him i think the question about um you know do you ever get really uh because he's spending so much time wading through like really deranged corners of the internet like does that ever weigh on his mental health and i, I don't want to I don't want to misquote him here, but I think that he said that the only time that he really felt that way was when he was doing a muckbanger, uh, yeah, like video because it was it's such a depraved corner of. Well, the I think internet. he was doing his video. I swear, unless I'm confusing him with someone else, but it was between the Nakato drama and then some chick named Wu. Yeah, Brianna Wu, not Brianna Wu. No, that's the I was like, Ste I think it's Stephanie Sue is her name. Yeah, I Stephanie think. Sue. Yeah, Stephanie yeah, Sue. yeah. And um, yeah, the two of them were going back and forth about some crazy shit. They're both deranged. Both of them are millionaires that make their money eating fucking garbage pails of instant ramen. Like they are just some of the like the strangest reflection of modern society. I think, and there's something really disturbing about those videos to me. I can't really put my finger on it. I don't understand how that shit has so many views to me. It's literally like watching. I don't know. It's like gross. It's like it's like upsetting to me, which is why it's so weird that it it's like uber mainstream, like insanely popular. Can you imagine I can't flying to Africa and not bringing any food, but bringing a cell phone and just showing them Nikado videos avocado of videos? That. Not obviously not all of Africa is starving, but the the points where there's starving people. It really does soil my appetite. Like if I see some of those videos, it makes me, it gives me the opposite feeling of like, you know, a commercial where they show somebody, you know, like a, a fucking Carl's Jr. commercial where they have like a bikini chick eating like a dripping yes, sloppy yes. joe or something. And it's supposed to make you like, oh, I'm hungry. If you they know, made that commercial these days, should be eating pronouns. They, they <laughs> shouldn't even be eating a burger. That, that, dude, tell me about it. Uh, fucking... 
Dude, remind me never to eat Jack in the Box in front of you because I literally turn into Nikado Avocado. Dude, eight <laughs> fifty cent tacos. I order twenty. I put oh, three dude. in my ass. I fucking. I mean, they're dude, so good. That's how I feel with this Indian place near me. Also, like, I mean, there sometimes I'll. Oh my god, bro! There used to be a place near me when I was living in Boston, that was called like, like Gyro City or something. It was like a Greek spot. And they would give you the most, like, overstuffed, like, gyro sandwiches, like, the, like in a pita wrap yeah. or whatever. And they used to do one because they had a regular one. First of all, they put French fries right in the thing. Oh, That's beautiful, one out of it. beautiful, baby. They had the standard one that was the lamb with like a tzatziki. The other one, which is the one that I used to get, was a fucking, it was like a spicy chicken one. And they used to put like a honey mustard Dijon tzatziki sauce in oh, it. Oh, bro. With the fries right on top and all the veggies and fixings and stuff. And that is like the first thing that comes to mind when I think of like a food place that I was like fully muck style. Like, like, like I would attack those yeah. sandwiches because they were so good and so big and it's like that's also right around the time that i started working out so i would go to the gym and go straight to this place and just devour this shit like i don't even know if i have a place that it that like is is in that tier for me anymore like i would kill to go to that place again any listeners who are in boston if we have any if you haven't been to that spot Hopefully it's still open. Fucking highly recommend. There's some banger food in Boston, bro. There is. They make some fucking banger food. Dude, I, my whole guilty pleasure that I fucking eat like a pig is uh, there's a pho place near me. Mm -hmm. That's so good. But we ordered it for work one day and my I coworker was like, what is pho? And it's like, dude, it's like a soup, blah, blah, blah. And he, it got here and he's like, dude, my meat is raw. Yeah. And I was like, that, <laughs> yeah, you, you cook it yourself. And he's like, I have to pay for the fucking food and I have to cook it. Like, dude, what the fuck? Is like, he was so angry. And I was yeah, like, dude. it'll be okay, I promise. It's, yeah, it cooks right in the broth. Isn't that the thing? You that would make it, right it tasty. There, it, yeah, plus, it's, I, so it's like shaved steak, which you yeah. technically can eat raw. Right. And ground it's beef, you're not supposed to eat thin. raw. Yeah, it's super yeah. thin. So when you put it in the hot, like the steaming hot water, it like kind of cooks it lightly for dude, you. Dude, I was fighting with Daphne about this yesterday on Sissy Hypno Hour, but, uh, I could eat – if I had to eat one thing for the rest of my life, it would be soup. I love soup. There's so many different types of yeah. soup. It's so delicious. It's like a little hug. Yeah. Like you're I, drinking I, a melody. I really do think pho is the, like – that is, like, Pinnacle the, of soup. the god yeah. tier soup. I mean, Although, to be really fair, I would give up pho if I could forever go to – dude – you got to take your check here, baby. You ready for this? What is Olive it? Garden, all you can eat super salad. There's like five different soups, bro. <laughs> it is so fucking good. Really? Dude. They have this creamy sausage one that's like Italian clam chowder, pretty much. But Oof. dude, I would. It's I. They got Chef Boyardee back there nutting into bowls. That's how good it is, bro. <laughs> it is just creamy love down your throat. It is so good. Nice, bro. That's a good. That's a good advertisement. I, I feel honestly, like we made up for how you were like, yeah, I got something juicy. No, no, we won't talk about it. And then we made up for it talking about soup. We're giving the people yeah. what they want. We're giving the people what we want. I know. Um, we got four minutes left. You got anything? Uh, you got anything spicy for us, Harris? Let me think. What's the I what? Where's the Those hater shades on? The, the, hater soup, shades on. the soup kind of threw me for a curveball. I was like, I have to bring up, I had to bring soup up, bro. I am an addict. Well, I'm right now, also. It's almost like yeah, it's like 8 30 my time right now recording this. But, um, dude, we're also making a mistake recording this on a Wednesday because I'm going to be so hyped to get it posted. I we dude, yeah, wait, fucking... yeah, yeah. So, we got it. We got to look into the potential. I feel like it's hacky to be like, yeah, we got to do the Patreon so we can make money. But it's like we could easily do, especially if we were getting a little cash, I feel like four or five episodes. That Okay, that might be. That's a lot. That's a like week, one a day. Yeah. Dude, if I full... could live off the money, I would make one every goddamn oh, day. But, dude, uh, absolutely. Yeah. And I do think it helps that we're putting out two a week. I think one a week is way too fucking slow. Um, yeah, yeah. And I need to sharpen the saw a little bit because when I'm just like, hunched over drawing something for fucking hours like um oh do you want to see the one that i drew yeah hit me oh well first of all i might draw this tonight well actually i'm probably gonna be finishing the jeans tonight but i think if i draw another comic tonight 
I don't know. Maybe maybe it's not enough, but I think I think I'm gonna draw Joe Rogan, and he's like, Jamie, pull that up, and then he's like. Jamie, and then in like the last panel, he's in like a straight jacket in an in an in an dude. That's gonna I can I'm already predicting it now. Certified banger yeah, fucking certified mode. mode dude. <laughs> that one, uh, that one I'm probably gonna draw later. But I just drew this like Breath of the Wild one, which I I'm I'm happy with how it came out, but I think it might be a little too busy visually. And sometimes like the baby monkeys on Twitter don't like when there's a, mm, too many. Guys, hey, too suck many my guys. ass. But do you want to see it? Yeah. Yeah, last two let me, minutes. Let me Let's see how much it. I can see it. Right, this is the. Can you see my shit? Pull it All back right, so, slight. Oh, that's good, bro. You can see that. It's like oh, Ganon. Dude, the color work on this looks beautiful. That one. And then he kicks him into the wall. Oh, look at and that he, foot. He hits the wall. And, and there's the little Kurok guy. The little... Very cute. Beep. Yeah. That's that powerful. It was, it was fun to draw. I mean, I like. Um, I got to practice with some like action sequences like that. Cause it's like, I like body, like drawing like bodies is tough, but it, I like getting practice with that shit. I need to do that. Cause I just, every time I'm like, I should practice drawing. I'm like, I'm just going to put better call Saul on and shit something <laughs> retarded out. Fuck it. Well, I mean, dude, it feels like we flip flop all the time. Cause you're, you'll be telling me and you're just like, Dude, I just want to make jokes. I don't want to be doing like people. I don't want people to be judging my art. I just want to do the jokes. But it's like, yeah, I, I feel think like people think good... I'm trying to be a comic artist, but it's like, but no, you I'm are, just. You are a good drawer. Hey, I think get the fuck out of here, Dude, you know what people look like when people are bad at drawing? You know what that shit looks like. Okay, Harris, I'm a step above people who are very bad at drawing. But, you, I, but that's <laughs> what I'm saying, is that you're, like, critical of yourself, but you have some complex, like, you know, you do caricatures, and you draw, like, scenarios and items and stuff that are not easy to draw. So I do yeah. have a, a YouTube documentarian who... He's really cool. I, he wants to come on, so we got to get him on. But he's that'd like, be great. It was the biggest compliment ever. But dude, your your character work is amazing. You you really capture the spirit of people. And I was there like, there you go. I was like, you're not correct, but thank you. Thank you very <laughs> much. Not, I think thank you, you do. I think much. he's right. Yeah. All right. But, uh, listen, listen this is it. Uh, cold cuts. Hit that. I'm looking at you right now. Hit subscribe. Hit fucking subscribe. If you're on Spotify, come subscribe on YouTube. Yeah, please. We need the extra love on YouTube. Harris and I are going to find you and suck your dick if you don't. If you do subscribe. And I, I think we said we'll, we're going to show little feet when we hit 1K. For sure. As no a tree. Question. A little no tree. Um, well, End as us always. with a great joke. End us with a good joke. Let's see if I have something written here.